Здравствуйте, добрый вечер. А зачем я вам игру показываю, не знаете, если она пытается у меня перезапуститься? Подожди, или нет? Или да. Не, дай-ка я ее перезагружу на всякий случай, а то она что-то ноет, говорит, и настройки выставил, какие-то больные, мне не нравятся. Хочу другие. Перезапусти меня. Проходим мы сегодня с вами uh, Invincible. Демочку мы смотрели. Демочка была uh, интересная, так быстро выйти зайти. Вот, и вышла игра целиком, она достаточно, ну, относительно короткая, типа, я думаю, за 5-6 часов мы все не пройдем, целиком, за один стрим. Как-то так. Должно быть интересно, сайфайчик опять с какой-то там философии, если вам внезапно философия Наталася а, не хватило. А вот и игра, собственно. Здорово, тут говорят АМД, а в игре, кстати, есть субтитры русские, это приятно достаточно. Здорово, итак, итак, ну что, вроде я там все настроил, поэтому а, вот так вот сходу давайте начинать. Новая игра у нас. Единственное, может быть, тут где-то есть размер субтитров, но, по-моему, их не было. Да, субтитры просто включены, это все, что я вам могу сказать. Они есть! Размер не контролируется. Стрекоза небольшой исследовательский аппарат межпланетного содружества с экипажем из шести человек изучает отдаленные уголки космоса. Посетив и изучив множество планет, команда стрекозы совершает исследовательскую миссию, однако по пути домой их ждет еще одно задание. Несмотря на риск, астрогатор Новик лично добывает редкий и чрезвычайно ценный минерал. Ценой сломанной ноги и значительной боли Новик добывает минерал. Однако происшествие с Астрогатором не мешает команде праздновать окончание цикла исследований. Для экипажа это было время большого успеха и единения. Довольные результатами они прокладывают курс домой и отправляются на заслуженный отдых в камеры искусственного сна. Но что-то пошло не так. Как выбрать-то? А выбрать-то как? Выбор. База. А. I need backup. Base, come in. I have a... I'm showing disturbing symptoms. A brain fog, severe pain in the frontal lobe. Confusion. Поздравь меня, вчера узнал, как ты выглядишь. Это не актуальная информация, у меня волосы выросли еще сантиметров на пять. Так давно стримок с вебкой не было. через телеграмму тогда по актуальнее да Which would suggest a quick recce. 
And was that just the end of the mission? Let's see if the past me hasn't failed the present me. And let's hope she took notes. Are we on Regis 3? Doesn't ring any bells. And my crew have no way to tell me. So I report that I have no recollection of this planet. The last thing I remember. Hang on. We've closed the research cycle. We, we were already in hibernation. Flying back. Is my blackout a side effect of metabolic depression? Bizarre. For some reason, our crew split into two groups. The first one set up camp. I wonder if I was with them. Or am I on my way there? Both groups landed in the same place. We took two landers to the surface. I don't usually do this. Maybe the first one broke. The first group explored the ocean with no biologist. It's weird. And the other one, just me, took a different route. Leading to... Right! I was heading straight to the camp. He must be somewhere near. Give me a sign! Send up a flare, the probe! Anything! Okay. I'm gonna head to the camp, but I'll be keeping an eye out for you. Landmarks. Well done, past me. <laughs> you didn't disappoint after all. Oh, I sound like... I need to stop doing this. Так, э, я вокруг камней, это мне что-то дает. Ну вот это похоже на иглу. Собака. Но я вижу типа крокодила, но собака, видимо, это вот это. Ну вот это вот. А, или, или да, не похоже. Bingo! I found the dog. I report that I have established my position. Time to hit the road. Кому докладываешь-то? Что бы вот вы делали, если бы вы оказались типа на. Неизвестной планете с потерей памяти, типа не помню, как вы сюда попали. Вот <laughs> просто интересно. Ваши действия, так сказать. Стрекоза. А, еще и без корабля, какая прелесть. Работы. Да за что? Слушайте, этого бота надо, надо самого забанить. Я не понимаю, как он это делает, за что он это делает. Ну, 
checked on Yasna? I was about to. Already awake. Good. So, so? Fine, I guess. Hmm. You're still groggy. Stay put, all right? Dr. Gorski doesn't look so well. How are you holding up, Gorski? Don't get up just yet. Is it really so hard for you to remember a couple of simple rules? I have to stretch my legs. They're numb. Hibernation will do that. Just sit for a while. Хотите прикол? У него нет фильтра с символами. Они что-то обновили, он теперь просто за что? Here, take it and remember the third rule. Yes, I know. Stay hydrated. In small sips. Always the first one to get up. I don't know how you do it, Murray. It's a matter of habit. After so many cycles of cryogenic sleep, one either gets used to it or becomes a tortoise. Так, все, чат, короче, как, кого еще э, отпинывало, значит, за символы, больше он так делать не будет. Теперь он банит только за ссылки. Я не знаю, почему он это сделал вообще изначально, но был выключен. Koval, could you stop it? I'm telling you, we woke up in the wrong place. Yes, we heard you. Enough of this, Yasna. Crew. Astrogator. Debating chamber in 15 minutes. Uh, this can't be good. Guess we'll find out. But first, here, hold on to it and remember. Окей, okay, видимо, будем вспоминать потихоньку, как она тут появилась. Локатор. Ясно так надеяться, что ее кто-то слышит вообще. Так, а у меня же есть карта найти дорогу в лагерь, но мы пока что идем, просто короче идем. Я знаю просто направление до лагеря, да, то есть вот мне тут налево. Только вот я туда не залезу никак. Высока. <coughs> Вата. Если внезапно нет, я не знаю, какого-нибудь скалолазского оборудования, но откуда. Она прям как я. Ну что звуки издает, ходят. Джетпак, да, вот джетпак был бы неплохо, реально. 
Так, сюда вряд ли нам надо. О! Интересная планетка. Не, необычная такая. Фонарик бы для таких мест был бы явно не лишним. Интересно, почему их не готовят к нештатным ситуациям, потому что все выглядит так, что они просто внезапно оказываются непонятно где и выбираются. Ну, но... ну какая-то тренировка-то у них есть, они иначе бы не полетели. Просто не было, наверное, в планах такого. Вот только нет каната, да? Ну да. Но видишь, проблема в том, что типа у них есть и снаряжение. И, ну, должно быть, по крайней мере, снаряжение. Они понимают прекрасно... Э -э что им делать? Просто по какой-то причине ты случайно оказываешься на планете, на которой ты не должен был оказаться. Ты не помнишь, почему это произошло. Вас всех разбросало по этой планете. У вас ни у кого нет снаряжения. Страшно сообщимся от нее. Я говорю, я его сейчас типа перенастроил, я ему выключил все. Кроме ссылок. И там что-то обновили, там, короче, теперь можно поставить настройку, что, короче, он будет стабильно банить сообщения от одного и того же человека. Я говорю, что самое странное, никакой защиты от символов не было. Поэтому я хрен узнает, что это произошло. О нет, я перестаю видеть. Где? А 
А вот вопрос, почему она так хреново здесь бегает, мне не очень понятен. Потому что спринтует она буквально, я не знаю, секунды 4, может быть. Возможно, тут гравитация какая-то долбанутая. Ну, прям ей, ей очень плохо перемещаться. Astrogator, sir, crew. Dr. Gorski, right on time. Any updates? We have a set of data from the near surface probe. How's the activity? Zero, zero, and two. So, less than nothing. Atmosphere? Nitrogen, 78%. Argon, 2%. Carbon dioxide, zero. Methane, 4%. The rest is oxygen. But wait, that's 16%. With oxygen concentration as such, there should be life. At least some microbes. And yet we have detected no traces. Yeah, we'll get to that later. Let's finish with the probe readings first. Air radioactivity? It's virtually zero. In the word of paradise. No radioactivity, no endospores, no bacteria, no mold, no viruses, nothing. Just the oxygen. If there were no living organisms on the continent, there shouldn't be this much of it. What if life develops on some other continents here? No, I doubt it. Insulation outside the equatorial zone is weak. You don't see how thick the polar ice caps went into. I can guarantee a minimum of five miles of ice sheet, potentially six. Mm, that's true. There's more chance of something in the ocean. Some seaweed, algae... But why didn't life migrate to the land? Could be because of hard radiation. Mm, I don't think so. According to the probe readings, the grind activity is exceptionally low for this part of the galaxy. I wonder if some special kind of drought-intolerant evolution occurred here. Mm, that would at least explain some of the abnormalities. Mm. Anyway. We'll have to take a look under the water. First, it would be good to know what time frame we're working with. Marit, do you have the geological analysis? It's a bit too early for mature conclusions, but this planet looks old to me. Such a fossilized egg must be at least six billion years old. Besides, the sun has seen better days too. It's almost a red dwarf. Any rare resources, forms, creatures? We can't expect such detailed data, sir. Not from this distance. Yes, we would have to explore the surface. Astrogator, what exactly are we looking for? The value of this planet. For now, it may seem like the pinnacle of nonsense. But I assure you that Regis III is not without worth. With all due respect, Astrogator, I have the impression you're not telling us everything. As always, Dr. Koval, your instincts are correct. Please forgive my reticence. My goal was to maintain unimpeded research neutrality. There is indeed a very important factor of interest in this planet. The Alliance. The Alliance? The Alliance? Correct. What do they have to do with it? Well, they've sent their most powerful unit here. But to our best knowledge, Condor's traversing a distant quadrant. Well, I'm not talking about the Condor. So, the Invincible? Good guess, Doctor. A steel behemoth with the power to produce billions of kilowatts in a split second, converting it into energy fields that no material body can penetrate, concentrating it into destructive rays as hot as stars. 
that can reduce a mountain range to dust or evaporate an ocean. Together with its crew of almost a hundred men. Professionals that are neither better nor worse than us. Well, I dare to say we're better trained, Astrogator. They are, however, unquestionable masters of propaganda. I know that some accomplishments they brag about are very much far-fetched. But the capabilities of the Invincible are not subject to doubt. And we as the scientific body should sever ourselves from the emotional and symbolic facade. In other words, we cannot ignore facts just because we don't like them, Mr. Cole. All right. But where do we stand in all this, together with our, may I say, not quite as numerous staff? Despite our modest forces, we still have a chance to gain a critical advantage over the Alliance, while avoiding confrontation. Okay. Uh, and how would we do that? Simple. We leave this planet before the Invincible arrives here. Which is when, exactly? Well, they're still far away. Astrogator, please, how much time do we have to conduct safe research? Thirteen days. There's no time to lose, then. I appreciate your eagerness, Cove. Dr. Crowther, do we need full gear? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Also, I caution you against taking off your helmets for a prolonged duration. This amount of methane is not neutral. Breathing the local atmosphere will lead to saturation drop. And you may start showing symptoms of mild brain damage. Feel stupefied. But uh, don't worry. Not before an hour, or even a couple of hours. I see. Dr. Gorski, will you program Arty to collect samples? Of course. Marit, Krauter, please prepare for the surface. Koval, you two. You're leaving early in the morning. And what about me? You're staying on board, Doctor. But Astrogator... Uh, this is not up for debate. I need you here. As you well know, there's not much work to do for a biologist on Regis Three, If any. Свалилась с корабля. А в смысле, что биолог будет делать на планете? Ну, как бы... Действительно, что же может делать биолог на планете с неизвестными э, всем? This is Dr. Yasna reporting. Do you copy? I'm entering the campgrounds. Is anyone out there? Andropot. Stop. Andropot, stop. What the? Oh, Dr. Gorski. Have you made changes to the Androbot's algorithms <laughs> without telling anyone? <laughs> Again. Ah, uh, well. Never mind. Oh, uh, maybe if I. RT? Default position. <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with you, buddy, but you clearly don't want to cooperate. Куда нам показывает утр? Ну, сомнительные выводы по жизни на планете, но все равно как бы там почва. Потенциальная растительность. I report that I've located Dr. Krauter. He's in bad shape. I'm gonna examine him now. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Astrogator. Finally. I've been listening to you for two hours now. My receiver is dead. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. I know everything. The transmitter was still working, so I heard your reports. Glad you didn't lose your head. Wait, please. I need to reconnect. <laughs> Test 
Testing, one, two, three. Ah, copy you, Doctor. Loud and clear, but to the point. As I understand it, there's only Doctor Crowther at the camp. And he's not well. What happened to him? I... I was just about to examine him. Dr. Crowther, please don't be startled. I need to take your hand. Temperature normal. Pulse too. O2 saturation is fine. There's nothing physically wrong with the doctor. His pupils respond properly. Look at my finger. No delay in reactions. Yet no response to verbal communication. None. Conclusions, Doctor. Up until yesterday, he wasn't suffering from any mental disorders. And there were no visible injuries. So, I'd test his blood for toxins. Could it be the methane from the atmosphere? No. Methane poisoning causes different symptoms. I'm afraid it's something else. I'll prepare the infirmary. But first things first, Lander. We need to get you all on board. Couldn't we just evacuate him right away? If it were that easy, I would have sent the hop along. He looked for the mission log. It should include crucial data about the crew's activities. We have three more people to find. And you still need to designate a place for the landing. Hello? A anyone else here? I found Dr. Crowther. Первичный анализ образцов. Присутствуют следы никеля, железа, берилия и цитана. Все боду, чтобы понять, что это. Теория. Миллионы лет назад гигантский никелево-железный метеор попал в атмосферу Регис-3, расплавив поверхность. Нет, невозможно. Форма конструкции этому противоречит. That's right. We followed those deposits of metal. Metal? That's why we have detectors. Correct. Mine died, but Crowther had one as well, didn't he? Like everyone in the crew, Doctor. The most important thing is probably the landing coordinates. BA-2316. Noting. 316. Excellent. I'm uploading the data. Starting calibration. Are you looking for the detector? Yeah, just a sec. Got it. Please make sure it works. I don't understand why it wouldn't. It's a rather reliable piece of equipment. Like everything around, it's already broken. Okay, checked. I'm leaving the tent. Просто проходил Талас Принципл 2 10 часов подряд. Такое бывает с людьми. Это по звукам опять буря должна начаться. Just... Is something wrong with the connection, sir? It's not working. I'm not sure why. There's a relay transmitter in the camp, so the signal should be strong enough. A relay? Huh. Yasna, what are you up to? One sec. I'm looking for it. <sighs> what about the rest of the crew? You're gonna make them wait? If the Androbot isn't working properly, I can't just leave Krauter like this. He might hurt himself. Uh, fine. Proceed as you deem fit. Так, а как мне достать... Uh... Oh. I've got bad news. Our signal is far too weak to restart the Androbot. The relay malfunction? Not exactly. It's completely fried. I don't think a sandstorm could cause such damage. Well, that's irrelevant now, Doctor. There must be a spare somewhere in the camp. Please search for it. Я могу очень удобно искать предметы с помощью этого детектора, только я не могу его достать никак. 
No luck. Oh, they're not in here. Not here either. Рыба. Yes. He's been resting in his quarters. We're setting up on the shoreline. It's late, but we still have time to examine the ocean floor. Uh, Gorski is preparing the probe for launch. We'll start research soon. Oh, and um, one more thing, Yasna. Yes? It's beautiful here. The ocean, wind, sand. The suit is pitching and cramping just at the mere sight. <laughs> <laughs> Should I include this in my reports? I'm serious. I don't know about you, but over the years I've learned to hate the void. We do everything to go further, see more, take mankind one step closer to omnipotence, and then we can't even take a walk on land. As if enjoying everything that's around us was almost a... I understand how you feel, Koval. After all these years, I miss home too. Is it that obvious? We come across as... Well, erudite, but at the end of the day, it's simple bombing that speaks through me. Well, a little obvious. We have to examine the composition of the ocean water. Collect the mineral samples. Koval, yes. where That's are you right. going? Do you want to do the honors? Over. Gladly. So a little, um, uh, a quick recce. Probe in the water. I'm switching to manual. I'm going to take a look around. Uh, a recce? Distance. More 100. like a quick sicky. Am I hearing this correctly? 300. Are you going to smoke, Uh, no. No, not at all. I'm staying dutifully at my station. 500. Damn me. Am I seeing this right? Dr. Crowther, would you please have a look here? Of course. Just a second. It's like... a school of fish. This is... life. What are they doing? They're moving away from us. From us? I'm talking about an artificial robotic gizmo. Right from the probe. As soon as I swim it closer to them, do you see what happens? Is this normal, Yatna? What do you think? It's hard to speak of normality here, but animals are usually not afraid of equipment or, or anything they haven't seen before. Are you saying they've already seen probes? I've no idea, but their behavior suggests some sort of defense mechanism. A catch at least one for examination. Then I'll be able to say more. Come here. One more time. Stop it! What did you do? I had to electrocute it. Wouldn't have caught it otherwise. I'm taking the specimen ashore. That's a fine one. There'll be plenty to dissect, Yasna. <laughs> Датчик, правда, так и не был найден. Надежда на коробку. Вблизи лагеря это где? Вот здесь? <laughs> где угодно. Should already be doing something. Is it still frozen? Yes. 
unfortunately. Hmm. The positronic brain has correct readings. Receptors. Hmm. Should be walking now. Does he? His positional data hasn't changed. <laughs> well, you can see that he really wants to go, but still can't. Uh, please check his legs. Hmm. Could be the server motor. Ah, that's it. Gotcha, you tin bastard. Uh, thank you, Doctor. I won't hold you any longer. Go find the others while I finish here. That's an order. Yes, как же он топает. Так, теперь куда нам? Ты что перевернул? Вот я же нажал. А, это типа... Понял. Типа на разные части могу карты открывать. Угу. Не сказать, что прям супер удобно. Потому что тут где я сейчас непонятно, ну ладно. В любом случае, сейчас только ходить остается. marked by Dr. Krauter. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send hopper, sir. Huh. It looks like the rocks at the landing area. The, the ones drawn by Krauter. But the doctor marked a waypoint. I don't recall... It's, it's just a sketch. No markings. Well, if so, we should do it. What would you call them? <sighs> These rocks are white as bones. Bones, then. Writing that down. Me too. Oh, damn! I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind, and haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well. But before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Hmm, right. Anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. Круто, что у телеметра надо крутить, типа, еще расстояние, чтобы там не размытая была картинка. Кости. Ну, ну что, это еще похоже. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up, or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its source to find some end. And? Did he? That I don't know, unfortunately. It's here. Someone, I'm following the signal. Huh. It, there's something on the ground. It's a journal. Do you 
Нужно сосредоточиться на двух направлениях, химическом составе воды и геологических раскопках. Своя осадочная глина с вкраплениями черно-красной субстанции, не геологической, не планетной. Возраст по меньшей мере миллионы лет. Альянс космической коалиции, штаб межпланетного содружества, космическое подразделение, Солнечная система. Уважаемая доктор Марит, продолжая тему последней межпланетной конференции, мы бы хотели предложить вам ранг астрогатора в будущей экспедиции на обелиск 3. Ваш опыт и результаты, достигнутые в предыдущих миссиях, показывают вашу готовность сделать следующий шаг в космической карьере. Мы ждем вашего ответа после возвращения с текущей миссии. А вот вернется ли она с текущей миссии? Это вопрос, да? Так, он у нас в зоне раскопа. Лендинг плейс. Это не то. Это как раз вот лендинг плейс. Я не понимаю, почему это угол всегда у меня помещается. Потому что нам сайт 02. Это вот в ту сторону. Не знаю, кстати, почему она не проверила рюкзак. Там все-таки что-то могло быть полезно. Не знаю, там та, та же самая веревка. Что угодно. Доктор 
I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. No, I'm poor one. It's everywhere. In pieces. <sighs> Not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. Huh. Have you found it? No, it's uh, nothing about Dr. Gorski. Там написано, что в цепи на этой планете все-таки есть жизнь, и ясно будет счастливо. Found them. Surprisingly accurate. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Koval to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? Uh -oh. <laughs> Won't be pretty hard in one G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. Got him. The Andromeda Crowder is also on its way to the site. You'll meet shortly. The land is already descending. Everything's falling apart here. I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon. Yeah. Wouldn't something like that show on the charts? All those measurements Gorski took? I remember. Maybe he made a mistake. Gorski's left. He might have made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. It might take hours before I come back. We also don't know Gorski's condition, nor what he's going through. I'll go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the lander. But Yasna, Dr. Marit is already gone. What if we also lose Gorski? I've made up my mind, Astrogator. I can't leave her like this. Ну хотя вообще, конечно, да, по идее, наверное, более рационально было бы пойти искать Горского, потому что все-таки он еще может быть жив, а я сейчас время потрачу, ну ладно, уже поздно. Блин, интересно, тут есть какие-то выборы. Ну типа полноценные, то есть я мог, например, не чинить робота. У нас бы сейчас был... Проблемес небольшой. У нас было бы только одно тело. Ну, в смысле, только один чел. Живой. С другой стороны, может, не знаю, может быть, все-таки с ней что-то, типа, не так? Ее как-то все еще можно спасти? Ready? I don't think we have much choice in the matter. There's only one way forward. I 
have served with Dr. Merritt for over two decades. She's made of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. Ну и да, кстати, да, тело еще поможет помочь изучить причину смерти, факт. Did you know that headquarters offered her a promotion? She would have been the first female astrogator in the history of the Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore, really. Not entirely. Merit will be awarded posthumously. I'm taking a bit your word, astrogator. This could pave the way for others. And that's what she would have cared about the most. No doubt about it. Тащил всех, кого смог. Кроме Горского, за которого сейчас что сходить надо. А нельзя было... А нельзя было, типа, Арти приказать, чтобы он тело притащил? Было бы э, неплохо. Так. Мне за ним, получается... Да, Горский вот туда. Куда мне сначала не пустили. Господи, как вот эта карта работает, конечно. Интересно. Горский... Вот сюда. овощи и трупы робот вообще-то А конструкции такие. Make us whole. Hang Так, 
мне кажется, что... very smoothly. I guess it's still a bit broken. Meaning? How? It moves only in a straight line. Just up and down, then sideways. No complex moves. Ah, don't worry about that. It's because I'm controlling it manually. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Oh, it'd be nice to have some company. I mean, apart from yours, sir. One second. That's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. <coughs> No ID, no nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. Uh, I'm not really interested in naming machines. Understood. Maybe we should use the previous name, Olga. Yeah, whatever fits. Done. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The only surface structure reported was from the excavation area. The rest is underground. Please explore the area thoroughly. Just do as Dr. Gorski. Use the detector. А, ну вот она записала, смотри, конструкции разветвляются под землей, а, Горский осматривает правое ответвление, массивный вертикальный образец, он выступает над поверхностью, водяной резервуар подземной конструкции, самая большая под холмом 150 метров отметка, видимость точки 4, азимут и расстояние. <coughs> Полезная штука. Не, налево идет. В отличие, кстати, от моего этого типа маяка, потому что он немного странно работает. Ну, то есть, как бы у него нет конкретного направления. Которая как эта штука называется? Вот это вот. Типа, она показывает мне э, объект, который к нему подключен, и он типа просто все объекты, которые к нему подключены, вот он к ним ведет. Но ты не понимаешь, что это такое, что ты именно нашел. Это немного странно для людей, которые в целом там в космос полетели. Ну, радар, да, они, они там как-то по-другому сказали, по-моему. I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Koval noted down the parameters. Azimus 350. A distance 200 meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. А там вот что-то горит. 
не напрягает? Это вулканическая какая-то. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. I know I'm... Hi, Olga. Lead the way. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. Hey, can it fly for this long? Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. <laughs> Sounds like the perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. Of course, I wasn't being serious. However helpful they may be, they're still just tools in the hand of man, often faulty. Мне кажется, я тут не пройду. We have a problem. Something serious? I already mentioned the faulty machines, right? Well. The route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. Exponentially? <laughs> can you imagine us, protonaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? Uh, no, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Oh. Have you started to fear for your position? Well, everything Robots will excel in areas where we either cannot or do not want to surpass them. To put it bluntly, they will do the dirty work for us. And we'll just sit in the warm privacy of a laboratory, send them to the other side of the universe? Yeah, that's one example. Well, I don't know. Shh, Astrogator, can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, I don't know. He must be a long way from here. These bushes are... kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Allow me to use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush-like formations. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. Я не какую-то хрень не залучаю, я не очень понимаю, что это такое. Подожди. Но она почему-то об этом не говорит. Ну да, я ничего, а нет, могу. Опа. О, было, было, было. Ну давай. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket. It covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush-like layer. That's how it looks. To put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Some 
Staying on the topic of biological analogies, which in itself is already a major scientific distortion. Yes, yes, I understand. These are not real plants. But if they were plants, those protruding parts climbing up, they would serve to obtain energy, mainly solar. мы будем с этим делать пошли дальше астрогейтер горский is not here i'm afraid he continued to explore and if he went where i think he did he might have lost contact with the camp as well as dragonfly so we will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. Oh, I'm going to the, doctor. Uh, the line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you. All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. I'm going outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off. What about that lander, Yasna? You think our people tried to fly away on it? I seriously doubt it. Looks like a bad malfunction to me. But I'm taking Hopper out of here. We can't afford to lose this lander too. Which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time, that's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me too. Whoa. Damn. You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. симпатичнее, чем эти зеленые пещеры. Сходу же. Continue. 
Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. This road may be faster, but it's not the easiest. Anyway, back to our conversation. You say, yes, the mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. <laughs> Are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves, whoever they will be. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. I can't argue with that. Имя ясно означает склонность к риску даже авантюрам, поэтому нередко испытывают как успех, так и, не, так и неудачу. Ясно любит путешествовать, делать новые открытия. Mm. При первом контакте с ними такая реакция. Ну-ка, погоди, если я подойду еще раз. А связь? Почему они перестали разговаривать? Что происходит? Проснулась она не там, кстати. Ольга, свети мне. Ольга, что ты смотришь в камне? Ольга светит в камне. Is everything all right? Yes, yes, all good. They're already in infirmary on life support. You found them in time. How about their reactions? Have they regained consciousness? I mean, maybe one of them said something. Uh, unfortunately, they're still unresponsive. I'm making no any changes. I'm doing an EEG on them right now. Confirm, Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. <sighs> Why hasn't he yet? <sighs> Going down after him. <sighs> Tell me one more thing. When it comes to Marit, are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes, 
I'm stuck. I'm hanging with all my weight on the rope, away from the wall. There's still a fair few meters left to the ground. <sighs> Can you go back? Using just my hands, strapped with all this extra weight? No, not a chance. What if you sway? No good. I can't reach anything. Uh, any other ideas? I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. Uh, I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything, yeah, we don't know that, Yasna. He could keep going even with injuries. <sighs> All right, so do you have another idea? Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right. Let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. One meter forward. Uh, it's still too far. I'll try one more meter then. <laughs> Is the maneuver You could say so. I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. Вообще, это, кстати, первое, что мне пришло в голову. Я думаю, так просто спустись на зонде, типа спланируй вниз. Это явно смягчит. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Uh, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance. Well, if we're looking for something on this planet, this could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, you can't go. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection. Set up a transmitter. There's nothing on the comms. But I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. Left or right? Я хочу сюда. А могу ли я сюда? Но я так хочу сюда. I can't even see the bottom. The structures go that deep. Yes. I dread to think. What if Dr. Gorski fell down there? I took that into account when calibrating the probe. It will examine the bottom. I'll let you know if... If I find it. All right. I'll try to walk this kind of bridge. Two more hours. Huh? That's all Gorski has left of oxygen, at best. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Though it all depends on his activity. <laughs> If I remember correctly, there was a risk of methane poisoning. That's right. 
calling to Dr. Crowther, negative symptoms can appear after an hour. Maybe after a few hours. You think you'll find good by then? Let's hope so. get out. Ah, phew. The load-bearing capacity of this place is to... Ah, ah, again. Maybe you should use the detector. Will it indicate the thickness of the structures? Ну и что? Настроить детектор? Как его настраивать? А крутить колесо не крутится, нажимать не нажимается. Бери его. Ты же можешь смотреть? А ты можешь двигаться и смотреть? Теперь она не может двигаться и смотреть. По причине. О которой нам не расскажут. Да что за... Просто дойди. Ты заколебала. Причем шел ты, я правильно? I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but the oceanic forms here are similar to those on Earth. So there should be similarities on land as well. Similarities? Life, Astrogator. I still think there should be life on the surface of Regis 3. Ты издеваешься? Оно все зеленое. Чушь какая-то просто. Угу. Да, да иди просто. Это реально про проще тупо идти вперед, по-моему, здесь. See the relay up close. Looks broken. Such damage could be caused by a local meteorological phenomenon. A severe thunderstorm with litho and electrometeors. So the weather is to blame for all this. Well, I can't think of a better explanation at the moment. Maybe let's go back to the recording. There are more traces. This time handprints. And a drop detector. What? Did I hear you right? Yes, sir. You heard correctly. I'm afraid we must be ready for any eventuality. Well, that doesn't mean we should assume the worst. I still believe you'll find your doctor. Well, let's hear what else he discovered. Thickets of bushy pointed woods and slats. 
again. So far, it all leads to one conclusion. This is not a place for a man, nor for any humanoids. Then who is it for? Maybe it's really an alien technology. Those Lyrans. Uh, as far as I know, all information about the Lyran civilization is just guesswork. Many consider Lyrans to be just a myth, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. Well... I think there might be something to it. I found something. Again. I'm listening. I suspect Gorski might have damaged his suit. If the tear doesn't exceed 20 millimeters, the reactive polymer layers will self-seal. Finally! I have his position. Okay. Not yet. Gorski! Are you here? It's me, Yasna. I found his backpack. You know what that means, sir? Yes, he's without oxygen. We must hurry. Almost there. Oh. Got him. He's not moving. Closed. Is he breathing? He's alive, but barely. Did he react in any way? No reaction. He seems unconscious. Gorski, come on. Calm down, Doctor. Get him out of there. The probe is already looking for a landing site. Activated his SOS. You should pick up a transmission with his parameters, sir. Well? No, nothing. The transmitter in the suit must be too weak. Should I retrieve his booster from the backpack? Uh, no point. Better to set up a relay. We have to do it anyway so that Hopper can land in this maze. Have a brilliant but he's not stable I must share my oxygen with him astrogator you need a spare for that the protocol doesn't provide for connecting two suits at the same time in that case I'll give him my tank Nick, I went to Malachi, sir. you frames the doctor won't carry you The membrane looks intact. What did you tell me? Absolutely. Hold on, Gorski. Please repeat. It's nothing, Astrogator. Some static on the line. Это что? 
Sort of. Yes. Once you've set up the transmitter, I should start receiving Gorski's signal. Astrogator, I, I, I'm underground. It's hard to determine my exact location. Novik, do you copy? Base, come in. I'm sending an SOS. Anyone, please. Okay. Stay calm. Just keep it together. Heartbeats racing. But saturation hasn't dropped below the tissue norm. Not yet, at least. А вот не дал бы я ему кислородный баллон, он бы там сейчас пролежал без него. Мне, правда, надо как-то жить теперь. Ну, это детали. Разберемся. Я хотя бы имею это сознание, я не в отрубе. Meteoric waters. No. No. Too deep. <sighs> Slippery terrain. Poor visibility. Considering all factors. Situation. Hopeless. At least I got flight. Oh, come on. <sighs> Gotta be kidding me. Что забей, тут есть свет, что ты все сделать. Crowther. 
looks like you. But how? You, you were supposed to... Doctor? Why won't you answer me? It's good to see you again, Yasta. Unfortunately, there is no time for pleasantries. We need to get out of here, now. How are we supposed to do that? You're way up. Look to your left. It should be easier than that. I'll keep an eye on you from above. You won't lose me if we stay in contact. And hopefully, both of us will make it to the surface. You are joking, right? I can barely stand on my feet. No, as long as you have the strength to talk, you have the strength to walk. Come on, get up. Asshole. Остаетесь здесь? Да забей ты на этот сигнал. Gorski isn't dead. That's why I left him my damn tank. Yeah, might as well be. Do you really think giving him oxygen was enough? Something attacked you up there. Or Jar. They got Gorski as well. We'll check and come back for him. Novik should be monitoring his parameters after all. Yeah, about that. You shouldn't trust everything the old man says. He only tells us what he sees fit. Huh? What do you mean? Doesn't matter now. Let's focus on getting out of this maze. Uh, slow down. I need to rest. Uh, rest is for the dead. against time, Yasna. We're constantly fighting for life, Yasna. Enough of this nonsense. I don't want to fight anymore. I, I don't want to fight. All right, Yasna. Have it your way. What? A moment ago, you were forcing me to struggle on. But now you'll let me die. Just like that. Uh, not just like that. You did everything you could. But even that wasn't enough. You have the right to finally give up. No. No, not over. I haven't given up yet. Can you walk? Yeah. Probably. I just need to catch my breath. On second thought, I imagine there are worse places to die. It's rather peaceful, actually. 
Just close your eyes and let yourself go. Fall asleep. Okay. Let yourself ring. I'm getting up. Turns out I prefer to live than let you talk me to death. I can do it. I won't give up. That's the right attitude. Talking turned out to be quite helpful, huh? Don't push it, Crowder. Что он как-то максимально крипово стоит, я не понимаю. Do you see this? Well, if you're talking about the coal deposits and the bones of prehistoric reptiles, then yes, they're further up as well. What do you think that means? Isn't it obvious? Dinosaurs once lived on Regis 3. Don't mock me, Crowder. No, I'm serious. Millions of years ago, this planet had to be teeming with life until something got rid of it. Quite effectively. Even more skeletons. Annoyingly now, there are no comms. Nobody will know of this discovery if we get stuck here. Relax. The old man will send another expedition. And they will find those bones along with the bus. Thanks. For a moment there, I forgot how screwed I was. Good that you reminded me. Maybe your situation would be better if you didn't stop to admire the fossils. Now you sound like Novik. <laughs> Too shame. Or it didn't allow organisms ashore. Perhaps stop them from leaving the water. Crowder? Yeah? Are you really here with me? Of course. We all are. You have distinct memory traces of us, you know, in your brain. That's not what I'm asking about. I know, but there's no definitive answer. We can only hope that you won't forget us when it's all over. So little, yet so much. I don't want to forget, Crowder. I, I really don't. Come. It's time to be among other people again. They are there, somewhere. I promise. Starting to have second thoughts. What if something's waiting for me? Something that caused my fall. Я не могу идти, я могу идти. Crap. 
up, Lex. <laughs> you must evacuate immediately. Actually, I recognize this noise. It's a damn thing that dropped me underground. I think it's moving away from me. Excellent. Don't stop yet, though. The greater the distance between you and this machine, the better. I wonder what it's looking for. And why is it shooting at these structures? Well, my opinion would be for the defective form. I can see a passage. But it doesn't look... something <laughs> as if oh, I don't know I don't know I saw the readings they were distress signal and then followed a series of directives that I didn't implement uh, uh, oh the hatch fell down probably from the registry can you get the record let's see I guess it's busted for good <laughs> Yes, right, sir. The Alliance is indeed already on the planet. They even managed to set up a field base. How could headquarters have got it so wrong? According to intelligence, the Invincible was not due to arrive for another 14 days. Uh, I guess we should ask them back home. Блин, Оля вообще просто MVP команда. Это что такое? А этот дрон? me wow it really did almost flatter me probe it it distracted the antimats you say that as if it did it on purpose how else to explain it coincidence i don't believe in such coincidences astrogator Ольга. Not much left of it. The probe was broadcasting a while ago, so maybe we can save its core. You could say that since I found the probe, I haven't been alone. Uh, I'm sorry, Asna. Maybe it can still be rebuilt. Anyway, you're not entirely alone. I feel like I've I've lost another companion. My last one. You still have me. Not down here. Okay. Hit call down. Are you talking about the probe call? <sighs> well, they say in order to win over a person, you have to steal their heart. The key is to get their brain. You know that's just a metaphor. Anatomically incorrect and highly overused, yes. Oh, not good. You simply don't get a break. What is that this time? Stormfront is approaching your location. Now of all times. I don't know, time. But please muster up a little more strength. Let's not forget that the Alliance is in the vicinity. Wait a minute. Do you have any specific expectations of me? Since I'm nearby their troops. 
It's hard to call them specific. We need to learn more. You're missing the most important thing, sir. We still have to save Gorski. I, I don't know what your silence means. Uh, I was going to tell you later. I'm really sorry. What? His readings. No. No, don't finish. That, that's impossible. You did absolutely everything you could. Unfortunately, sometimes even that's not enough. I did nothing. Just nothing. By the way, how are you feeling? Oh, and how? Oh, damn it. The storm's getting worse. I mean the lack of your oxygen tank. So you know. Gorski's oxygen jump didn't come out of nowhere. And your saturation is dropping. So, how are you feeling? I'm good. Considering all factors. Crouch's warnings were clearly exaggerated. Are you sure? You sounded... That's Peter. I found their vehicle. The transport? No. A rover. There isn't a living soul here. Make sure. Please take a look around. Да какой осмотритесь? Я не понимаю, она пешком хочет идти дальше или что? Ну, я сюда ни хера не вернусь. started. Then what are you waiting for? Leave this cursed place. Are you driving? I'm going. Please talk to me. Oh shit! It hit the bonnet! Don't worry. Even if it hits the rover directly, you'll come out and escape. In a vehicle is is kind of a parent cage. The energy will flow through the body, discharge it to the ground. I'm not worried. I'm a goddamn oasis of peace. And there are exceptions, you know. 
Such as the windshield shattering at high voltages. It doesn't stress me out at all. Не, куда молния бьет, я не хочу. Я лучше вот такой вот крюк сделаю маленький. Молния, правда, везде бьет, но это не важно. I'm having trouble finding the right way. You've got to head southwest. How am I supposed to know where <laughs> southwest is? I don't have a compass, remember? The city attracts lightning, so the fewer flashes on the horizon, the better. Uh, I'm riding into a cave. The storm has subsided. Formation. Even better. You have to catch a breath eventually. Can I ask for one thing? Could you find the model number of the rover? Uh, what for? I've got an idea, but it depends on the model. Uh, Emmett 2001. Could that be it? Uh, let me see. Bigger. Emmett's are equipped with a black box. Please find it. I have the box, but it's all locked up. Really? Uh, must have changed the equipment because I have no information about the key. Where did you even get a catalogue of their gear from, sir? And anyway, it doesn't matter. What should I do? One second. I need to think. Don't know if this can help. But the Alliance labels black boxes as data loggers. Eureka. Cable access. Look for something that's over the socket in that plug. I think I have something like that. Then you can connect to the probe's brain there. And press it. That won't work. These inputs are not compatible with Commonwealth plugs. From the outside, our equipment is different, but inside we have the same guts. So just the cable on the back of the box should already fit. Same guts, hey? Just like with humans. It's in. Just a moment. Well done, Doctor. I'm receiving a signal. So, what now? You can finally rest. It's only a while to do through all the records. The rover was connected to a base. The one from the slides? Uh, most probably.
No one is transmitting from the base. On the other channels, all I hear is static. The storm must be causing interference. I'd suggest you lie down. The storm is raging. It may not be that simple. I'm too tired to sleep. Yeah, I know that paradox all too well. Can I help you somehow? Maybe I'll fall asleep if we talk. Naturally. Tell anything specific. Well, I'd love to know some official secrets about the Alliance base. The reason they're interested in this desiccated, bizarre planet that is Regis III. Are you implying that I should know these secrets? Yes. I think you're hiding something from me, sir. And at this stage of the mission, I lack both the strength and the inclination to beat around the bush. In that case... Yeah, me too. Quite literally. So I suggest we talk about something else, instead of getting ahead of ourselves. A more light-hearted subject, perhaps. May I ask why you became an astronaut? There are two answers to this question. An honest one, and a personal lie. To give you the clearest picture of the truth, I'd have to tell you both. I'm all ears. As cadets, we participated in a series of meetings. HQ organized them to encourage potential recruits. We all said the same thing, just a little different. We all wanted to push the boundaries of human potential, discover what is undiscovered. I remember childhood memories when we first heard about that brave forces of the Commonwealth. Sometimes these speeches were already being prepared during the training, if you understand what I mean. Every astronaut wished to explore space. They had to wish that. But my reason, an honest reason, not a nice sounding memory that never happened. I've never been able to find my place. So I came to the conclusion that I would not find it anywhere except out here, in space. Although I never dreamed of exploring. Such lofty ideas as expanding human limits were of little interest to me. It was among my crew that I found... Astrogator, can you explain to me what I'm hearing right now? This is a recording from the rover. The Alliance has apparently broken the encryption of our radio channel. Oh, bollocks. So, so what do we do? We need to change the frequency and the encryption key. What's the point? As soon as you give me a new channel, they will overhear us and change it as well. Just look at the probe's brain. Olga? What's with... All you have to do is watch it closely. I'm switching now, waiting for you to join. Oh, I see. The new frequency is... Oh, there's only static on this channel. And again? Okay, the channel is active. Now the encryption key. The first three digits of the cipher are... Uh, the next is... I'm here. Well done. That should buy us some time. So, how should we continue? Uh, don't you need more time to rest? I do. But there's no way I'm going to sleep now. Besides, nothing's stopping me anymore. The storm has subsided. All right. 
and let's not risk evacuating directly from the city. Should be safer outside its perimeter. I took the liberty of looking through the photos of the nearby area. Everything north and east of your location looks relatively safe. So? Should I go back to the ship? That's an odd question. Of course you should come back. Now even more than ever. Very concerned for your safety, Doctor. Uh, no need to be. I'm fine. I think I've gone far enough. There is a vast open area in front of me. Astrogator, the city is no longer visible. We need to decide what to do next. Dragonfly, over. Are you there? Yes, yes, please excuse me. I was in the infirmary. Is the coast clear? Yep, all clear. Good. Give me a moment. I'm looking at the satellite images. Have you examined Merritt's body yet? I wired her brain to a grave tapper, if that's what you're asking. Yes, that's what I meant. Have you watched the memory recording? Yes, but they didn't say anything because the picture is ambiguous. To put it mildly, a lot of black dots. The graininess of the image is extremely bad. All right, I've got it. Sector AZ-25... Let's say AZ-2504. Please check if it's fit to land. Like I said, it looks good. Clear opening, flat terrain. Excellent. Please go there while I prepare the lander. I'll just pack Artie inside. So that's it. You're taking me to the Dragonfly. We're flying away from here for good. We have no other choice, Doctor. At this stage of the mission, we can only minimize losses. You understand that, don't you? Yes, sir. Are you sure that's all we can do? Could Don't you even think about it. About what? You didn't let me finish, sir. Uh, but I know what might be on your mind. Going back for Gorski's body, contacting the Alliance, or continuing research on your own. These are not possibilities. A certain death. Please remember, we have just one lambda left. As a commander, I must first ensure your safe return. Only then I'll send Artie with other tasks. Хер там. Слишком много настрадались уже. Чтобы не до конца выяснить, что здесь происходит. And if you try to convince me otherwise, I'll just turn the radio off. Fine. I'll stop insisting. Please just understand the position you put me in. As a commander, now I have to decide whether to risk detection by the Alliance. Because by putting yourself in their hands, you're risking not only your own life. I'll understand if you find it necessary to. I would do it if I were you. Well, then you're lucky I'm me. Please don't turn off your radio. I'm not going anywhere. If I'm riding an Alliance rover, maybe they'd be more willing to talk when I return the lost vehicle to them. That's a risky idea. They think it's a trick, you'll only arouse more suspicion. And instead of asking questions, they'll start shooting. Anyway, you'd have to know their internal codes. They see you, but don't receive any signal, they'll immediately become suspicious. Hmm. Right. I'm just trying to think of something. Hey, what was that? I've set up a warning signal. Now you're near enough that they can see the rover. Who 
Okay, the rover's hidden. You've yet to find a convenient hideout for yourself from where you can see their base. Oh, shit. I think I'm too far away. Some object is flying over their base. Can you tell me more? It's a field base. Multi-module. For about several dozen people. Rather well equipped. Huh. There's lots of transporters here. I'm not surprised. Missions with a large crew, transport modules were an integral part of the field camp. Remind me, how many crew members were they supposed to send on the Invincible? Over a hundred. Great. They have a second antimat. As if the first one wasn't enough. Is it active? Uh, probably not, but Proton alone knows. What about people? Can you see anyone? Not yet. Maybe they're hiding a module. I see someone. Just one? For now, yes. Is that all? I think so. Then please keep going. You can assume that their equipment has already detected your presence. Or it will soon enough. There's no point in further postponing the inevitable. Still, I'm glad that I stopped. I feel better knowing that there's no heavily armed military waiting for me there. Me too, Doctor. Me too. We'll most likely lose contact soon. So let me be clear. Your situation is highly precarious. We cannot trust the Alliance or expect them to be willing to help. If things don't go our way, I'll do everything in my power to negotiate your safe return to the Commonwealth. Worst case scenario, we'll opt for a prisoner exchange. Until then, please cooperate with them. And during the interrogation, don't resist. Astrobiologists generally do not possess information that's sensitive to the Commonwealth. Hang on, sir. What exchange? I'm not a spy, I'm a scientist. I'm afraid that doesn't change anything. You want information about Regis Three. For that reason alone, they might consider you a spy. But what kind of spy exposes themselves to direct questions? A desperate one, Doctor. Типа непонятно, почему тут много скал таких непонятных форм. Типа они прям именно, видишь, ну необычные. То есть это не просто формирование какие-то горные. Он что-то грибообразное. Какое-то на двух ножках. Better to continue our communication for as long as possible. Prove that you voluntarily surrendered yourself. The Germans will interrupt us sooner or later anyway. Да, зелененькая. Так, только не просыпайся, я тебя умоляю. Просто стой. Смотри своим глазом туда. А до этого синяя, что было, не замерзайк. Так, погоди, что? Записи, журналы. О. 
The doors are open. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. I have a record of their mission. Each step, location, units, including dates. And all ears. Day Zero, landing place. Their main ships in sector AQ-28. The principal? What? They didn't move it? Huh. Seems so. I'll try to track it down. Please tell me what else is in there. Well, my car so became interested in the ocean. They got there on the seventh day. Uh, quite late. I guess they weren't in a hurry. Before setting up this base, they were stationed not far from here. But seemed very determined to reach this area. They dug a vast system of tunnels. When did they finally get here? On the 15th day of the mission. They conducted research and during excavations found... You won't guess. Metal structures. So we had no chance to outrun them. Yeah. And they were already at an advanced stage of works when we were still in orbit. In the end, they sent a convoy to a neighboring sector. So that was their last move? Well, there's no information about their return. And maybe I'll find them there. Highly probable. Do you know what the current day of their mission is? They left on the 25th day. That's all I know. Well, I can't back out now. I have to follow them. Well, it's your decision. Although I admit I'm also starting to wonder what you'll find. People, Astrogator, they must be somewhere. I'm sending a satellite. Soon I'll have an image of the area where the ship landed. We'll see if the Invincible's still there. I'll continue to search their base. On the 24th day, they sent a convoy north to the sector. Oh, to the sector where I found Gorski. Do you suspect they went after him, having detected his signal? Oh, surely they could detect him. They, they could have detected all of us. But would they really do something about it? Well, for some reason they left their base. I'm at the control station. I'm assuming that has something to do with it. Several units can be controlled from here. I wonder which... One is a flying unit. Some sort of probe. Flying over the base? Correct. Can you extract data from it? Sure. Never too much data. Especially in the current situation. I just need to find a place to land it. Подожди, профессиональный вертолетчик зондов. Опа. Мне кажется, только она была доступна, короче. Intercepting alarm signals. There isn't much of it. Single record. The guy survived. Someone saved him. Interesting. Coordinates changed uh, upwards, which indicates he was evacuated by air. Huh. The alarm signal broke off high above the ground. One, eight, five, six, one, 
754. Yes, it's Gorski. You said he died during the night. Correct. I did. I couldn't let you go back to those ruins. Did you send the lander? When? While you were still on your way to the base. Artie carried him on board, secured him. Gorski's in the infirmary now. How could you, sir? I believe Gorski was dead. I blame myself for his death. And now you dare say you did it for my own good? If I hadn't lied, you'd be willing to risk everything to save it. His chances were insanely small. I had to get you out first. If Gorski had died because you waited too long... But he didn't. Thanks to you, Yasna. Force fills down. I open the passage. We can follow the convoy route now. One more thing. I realize we still need to work together. So, I'll submit my reports as usual. But that doesn't mean everything's fine. Understood, Doctor. I'm going to take your professionalism. One more minute, and our satellite will be over this ship. I'm entering the next module. I guess it's a bio lab. Oh, we're lucky. Clouds are low. They had the opportunity to study organisms preserved in the ocean. Wow. They found the same species of fish. Did they confirm the similarity to those on Earth? Yes. Zbrawa, Lots prost. of similarities. Fortunately, the ship's not here. Neither there. Or... Are you still looking? Mm -hmm. Not here either. Bingo. Yes? Found it. They're still on the planet. Didn't fly away. Good to know. Thank you. Still... Nothing. It looks like a geology lab. One of these diagrams shows a geological cross-section. As suspected, it's all metal below the surface. Of relatively thin layers of rock. But compared to the rest of the continent, the deposits in this region are significantly younger. The range of their ground measurements covers a much wider area. To my eye, it seems they use advanced sonar. What they dug up here stretches for tens of kilometers. What do you mean? What's in the ground, Doctor? Metal deposits. Those structures, we still don't know where they came from, in such a peculiar form. They conducted a soil survey 500 meters deep. Oh, that's a big piece of history, so to speak. What did they find? First images from this area. If it's been flying long enough, it may store important information. It photographed the moment of my arrival. I'm on the slides. We already know that. Is there something else? No, the base is empty. The probe must have just started recording. Okay, finished. That wasn't much of it, really. Да вообще бесполезно, я бы даже сказал. Окей, что-нибудь здесь. The silhouette I saw. Yes. It's just a robot.
Сейчас уеду. Окна такие классные в этой машине. Вот куда я заехал. А тут нет, оказывается, проезда. она не скажет очевидно Абсолютно не представляю, куда я еду, если честно. Тут типа, как правило, так, ты поворачиваешь куда-нибудь, видишь э, развилку и думаешь, а вот я, по-моему, был и там, и там уже. Так, вот можно еще левую стрелку, вот развилку
Well, I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. They set up a huge machine at the center. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. In my opinion, it's a bit excessive. Oh, well, for me, it's quite impressive. That was exactly their goal, to impress. Such giants aren't very practical, though. I would even say that the larger the ship, the bigger the problems. There's also a couple of smaller cranes here. In comparison to the Colossus, they look like it's pups. Yes, I got it. They have big machines. Bigger than ours. <laughs> the excavator has a massive work area. They had photos of the site in the database. Taken before they started digging. It's unrecognizable. Inside, there's a structure. Yes, a metal one. Similar to the ones on the surface. But these are completely hidden underground. According to the schemes from the geological unit, metal can be found in every part of this area. Interesting. They found a sizable object deep underground. It stands out from the rest. It's not a part of the structures, but rather an independent, autonomous machine. Also metal? Yes. So, a robot? Or something else that finally looks for me? Well, it looks a lot more like a robot than the other structures. Ah, there. Имба. Кому-то было очень скучно. Блин, планета огромная просто, реально. Вот бы тот город такие планеты научился делать. Ну, это было бы прекрасно. Прямая, а там еще получается есть раскопка. А, пора туда сейчас вернуться. А, так я не могу что заехать. Я не могу ни заехать, ни спуститься, ни хрена. Увы. Сюда-то я могу заехать. Председателем сюда я могу заехать. А, нет, там есть что-то на карте. Я не понимаю, зачем тогда. Может, типа, я могу объехать здесь? 
и как-то попасть все-таки туда, что выглядит не очень реалистично. Подожди, я могу здесь ходить? Прям раз зачем? Окей. А, невидимая стена. М -м -м, прекрасно. Но точка на карте типа отметит. Туда не заехать, туда не заехать. Я не понимаю, нахрена нужен тогда вот этот. Тут еще как. Господи! Я только хотел сказать, что хорошо, что она не застревает во всех камнях, она решила застрять в невидимых стенах. СК лисички, дорогая, уверяю тебя, что наша экспедиция идет по плану без каких-либо будоражащих наблюдений и открытий. Мы предвидим кратковременную остановку на ремонтной работы, однако это не должно сильно отсрочить дату моего возвращения. Поэтому, дорогая, ни о чем не беспокойся и будь уверена, что я вернусь, и мы сможем начать нашу совместную жизнь. Но я хочу, чтобы ты понимала, насколько поразительным было для нас открытие этого изотопа, насколько это важно для моей научной карьеры и моего имени, которое ты, надеюсь, со мной разделишь. Это первая частица в истории космических полетов, чей нестабильный радиоактивный изотоп был открыт за пределами Солнечной системы. И это открытие совершил я. Пойми это я смысле. В 21 э, AIF, чаде небесных тел, возникшем в результате столкновения двух объектов, скрыты все загадки слияния звезд. Если я уделю этому еще пару ночей, то вскоре смогу определить их массу. Я уже знаю, что одним из тел была звезда Красный Гигант. В моих руках ответы на вопросы сотни лет терзавшие лучшие умы человечества, заставляя их ломать глаза, наблюдая за новой звездой в сознании звезде и лисички. Говоря о том, что слияние звезд для меня интереснее связи между людьми и что результат столкновения звезд намного значительнее чего-либо, что могут создать белковые сущности, я лишь хотел донести свое абсолютное восхищение гармонии космоса и математической красоты астрофизики только и всего. Прости меня и жди домой твой... Б. А там Байрон, да? Тот самый. Another mobile anti-matter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they? Is it active? Dead, fortunately. 
I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense, but... Oh, no. Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. <clears throat> I didn't let that thought get to me. Not. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place. Not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. Antimats? Ну, конечно, это такой довольно распространенный дизайн роботов, но он очень похож на тварей, которые были в это в плане Туфлана. Там тоже такие же прилетели, точно такие же ходили, бегали за мной. What do we have here? They were preparing for departure. The convoy is heading somewhere. Getting close to where I am now. They're here, sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Oh, they're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Can you locate the breach? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. <sighs> Shame. The transport's leaving. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Something's going on. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel, running from whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Astra. What are the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel? And what happened next? There's nothing else. Only darkness. Can't you see what it... Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. Astrogator. The antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? The second antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the crew. Shooting them. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. Uh, I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. Who needs such destructive power? This technology puts us on a straight path to annihilation. Well, the Alliance will do anything to feel invincible, hence their flagship. It's not only them, Astrogator. If I remember correctly, we're not engaged in open conflict. And yet, we too participate in this ridiculous arms race. To the death and beyond. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. Killed him. The machine just killed him. Oh fuck. Yes, no.
The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, and it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. I'm not hearing you object, sir. Go ahead, Yasna. I know you'll do it anyway. I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's an Arctan. Coming at me. Ah. I got out. Well, inside a cave. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah. I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. No. No. I'm better now. All right. Can you tell me what's in there? Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. This place is full of metal bushes. Same as the ones before. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. ноль интеракции с ним this mission tracks on so much sometimes i think you're gonna take off without me sir don't count on it doctor i'm not going anywhere i think their crew took some soil samples there's this chip rock Revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Metal bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So all 
all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, Yasla? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm. Interesting. So similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski? Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... Looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... All grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, sir. Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. Oh, shit! I can't handle it anymore. Я говорю, эти железки это обелиск, блин, тут сейчас некроморфы повылезают и все. И станем мы все едины. О нет. О, бро. Decided not to shoot me after all. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all is. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine. You 
could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. But I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Marit? She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. For now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Huh. It's cooled down. Ah, they have to be on the text. I don't know. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them, but it's nothing to compare. So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. Twenty-fifth day of the mission, seven fifteen a.m. We arrived. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Ah, oh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise three-fold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three-pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? Navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. But why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together. Similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but 
Not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out. Partially, at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field. The field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Now, at first I thought it was a sensoric malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So, all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns the long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? It's unprecedented. All we can do now is believe that they will eventually snap out of it. And when they do, hope they won't be used as guinea pigs. We both know this is going to be difficult. Yes. And? I don't even know if I'll survive this mission. Will I see them again? Will they develop properly? Even if it all works out, we will be strangers. They won't remember us. All that's left is hope. God damn it. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'll be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like, from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now! I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well... Look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects, and the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest fauns and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness, I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necroevolution. Mortuous evolutionis. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate. Form bushes, absorb raw material. 
and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational, probably also in better shape than the other one. Oh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact, then. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves, after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you are looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Ah, got it. Проблема в том, что мне это мало поможет. Это что это за звук? Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. Its registry could be valuable. Especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. the field do you copy sir of course the force field doesn't block radio waves i suggest the following if this transporter is actually running it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you you're going to take the whole transport you'll have the flies in large numbers and a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover but before you leave you need to take down the force field so first the Energo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? All good and clear as the sky is blue. Just waiting for things to go sideways. Что это? Зачем я все залез? Чисто походить, пособирать радиацию лицом, окей. Starting to understand the suffering they felt in their final moments. They were left to fend for themselves. Yes, to do so. This 
one man. He even ate parts of his suit, trying to survive. I'm climbing onto the hovering transporter. <sighs> Before you leave, though, please check that the cargo is intact. Почти. Will this really help our people, Astrogator? It will, I'm sure. So what? Off we go? Yasna, what are you wondering about? What if we're making a mistake? Maybe I shouldn't take the flies off Regis. Maybe it's better to leave them alone. Here, where they belong. What are you? I just worry that we might spread this threat. And the tragedy of one planet becomes a tragedy of entire galaxies. Not to mention all humanity. Forgive me, Doctor, but that sounds a bit overdramatic. We can handle some mechanical flies. <laughs> and you sound like a fool, sir. How can you be so sure? We were clueless just a moment ago. We've only just begun to understand what's going on. But you already know how to handle it. Yasna, I promise you, we'll analyze everything thoroughly. Now we need to focus on getting you out of there. Can we at least agree on that? Yes. First, though, I'd like to check the cargo. Very well. Just hurry up. Просто говорит, вывези образцы, хрен пойми чего. С планеты. Там мы разберемся. Может не стоять и смотреть на это? Да все уже, как он... Да, дождалась. Those 
creatures. They're the ones doing it. I don't know if I should interrupt your, uh, speech, sir. It is quite interesting to listen to. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is too much. Uh, I'll ask you how many times already. <sighs> Please forgive me, Astrogator, for continuing to, well, be alive. You know that's not what I meant. If it weren't for me, you could have just flown away, sir. That's not true, Doctor. At least we learnt the truth about this planet, and the inorganic beings that inhabit it. What good does that do us, though? We know the cause of the stupor. Maybe we can find a way to cure our people. If anyone from the Alliance survived, and they already started their research into a cure... I wouldn't count on it. It's more likely they're all dead. Not necessarily. It's a large base, and I only found a few bodies. The rest of them must be somewhere. Or you'll find more corpses, Yasna. Hey! Something changed. The balloon over the base disappeared. You mean it flew away, or did it fall to the ground? Oh, I hope it's a latter. If it caught the west wind, it would have fallen in this area. We're lucky. It's hanging from a cliff, close to the ground. Can you get to it? Unhook it. Maybe that won't be necessary. Oh, shit. Somebody's here. If all you're seeing is dots on the tracker... No. I can see them with my own eyes. Two of them, even. Two people. Alive. Huh? Where did they go? Have you lost them? Well, I can't see them now. They were here just a second ago. Are you sure? What did they look like? One was wearing an Alliance suit, a green one. The other one... I don't know. He looked different. I see. And now they are nowhere to be found. Damn right. Doctor... I know what I saw. Two people alive. Some of them survived. And you're going to look for them, man. Yes. I'm glad we understand each other, sir. I suggest focusing on what's certain. That balloon is still there, is it not? If it had operational cameras, we might get some answers. You don't have to convince me, Astrogator. I'm going. The rover is nearby if needed. Good to know. Thank you. How are you feeling? Let me just say this. Literally everything hurts. I don't know where frustration ends and a contused lung begins. But at least... Yes? I'm alive. What, sir? That whole incident at the start of my journey. Yes, I remember. I got badly hurt back then, and I damaged the radio. And you lost your memory. The thing is, it wasn't the real cause. There were bushes there too, remember, sir? Just after the fall, the same black cloud of flies gathered above me. They subjected my brain to an electromagnetic field. Yes, now that's what you suspect. I know it. The memory of that event came back to me. So it was the flies all along, in the case of our crew as well. Yes. And that antimat in the tunnels and the whole convoy. It happened to all of them. Почему тачка просто приехала ко мне? Типа, что? К 
Как-то странно. А, вот зачем эта штука нужна была. Окей. From the top. Let's see. The twenty-fifth day of the mission. Morning. The balloon goes up. You can see the immediate surroundings of the base. They're operating at full capacity. The base is active. Ah. I didn't see that from below. They parked several vehicles on top of a nearby hill. Huh. The balloon is moving away from the base. Which direction? Approximately south. It found some water reservoirs. Many of them. Rocks, water, sand. Anything noteworthy? No, not really. No people, units, nor significant changes in the surroundings. The balloon's completing its loop. It seems quieter at the base. But there's still a few people. They're grouping up. A dozen people gathered in the square, next to the vehicles. Two vehicles that weren't there before. Oh, they've left. There are no vehicles. There's no one. They must have set off towards their old base. Or to the ship. But why didn't they wait for the convoy to return? Maybe they didn't know the others were in trouble. Doubtful. It was after the clouds attack. Well then, apparently that's how the Alliance treats its people. Lousily, without dignity. The subsequent shots are similar to each other. They show an empty base. There are actually quite a few of these. Oh. It captured the moment I entered the base. And it's empty again. At two o'clock in the afternoon. I was on my way to the convoy by then. So we won't find out anything else. Wait. You're wrong. Someone was in the base. A man. So he's real after all. I knew it. I told you. That you did. Please forgive my doubt. But where is this man now? And can we expect any more? I think he's near the base. Judging by the last slide, the Alliance must have a hideout there. And we need to go back, I guess. Почему так далеко отъехал от меня, ты слышишь? Так, hideout. Space travel have instilled a certain conviction in me. 
think people can be more dangerous and deceitful than anything else we may encounter on our journey. I know that. Sometimes I think the presence of humans is the worst thing that happened in space. Or to space, even. So why do you insist on seeking them out? Because I also believe in human goodness. The selfless desire to help others. I can't believe otherwise. Oh, the probe again. Is it right near the base, within range of the control center? Uh, affirmative. And? Do you expect me to rummage through the enemy's equipment? Again? Well, in my opinion, the more we learn while delaying our encounter with the Alliance, the better. So, what will it be, Doctor? Agreed. I'm curious to see what it's recorded. Especially since it witnessed what happened to the convoy. Это был первый или тр третий, по-моему, это был. Или второй. Второй, по-моему. Right. Let's meet this probe. I'll bring it to the ground. Ha! Got it down. Slides. Oh, wow. The cloud in all its glory. Both fascinating and terrifying at the same time. People don't stand a chance. The cloud caught up to them and killed. No, not that. It didn't kill anyone, but neutralize them all which is even worse than death that probe managed to evacuate waited still until i approached it we know what happened after следил за мной Ну, типа, не особо инфы, конечно, закинул, но ну, ладно. Так. Получается... Это вот этот узкий проход, да, вроде? Я 
I know it's on your mind, sir. I could have been under surveillance ever since I arrived here. Don't turn off your tracker. Maybe it'll give you a slight advantage before meeting them. <sighs> I have to climb without safety equipment. This is nowhere to be seen. No alternative route? <sighs> I'm almost there. Perhaps it's the last moment to go back. And do what? As far as I remember, we ran out of options here. It's just, if I were you. With all due respect, Astrogator, it is me being stuck on this surface. So if you let me, I'll take my chances. And I will. <clears throat> I will find the man. You. It made the climb worth it already. So you're on top? Yes. Activity within radius? I heard no beeps. And I see no dots. Shit! How? What? I found him. Very well. Now keep your distance and be careful. It's too late. What? I can't hear you. It's too late to keep... Yes, now what is it? Why is it too late? Yasna, speak to me. He's looking for others. He's... <sighs> you. What have you done? Shit. He found you too. He's hiding. And he's blaming us. What did it gain you? That's not good. I haven't harmed your comrades. Get up. I said get up. You don't need to be afraid. I, I come in peace. Oh, save it. I guarantee you'll have time to talk later. What? Just keep your mouth shut. For your own good. Okay, stay calm. He's going to lead you to his superiors, which is good in theory. Unleash such murderous shit. Hey, don't turn around. You're a scientist, just like me. Yes, what are you doing? You don't shoot at people. Shoot. He has a gun. I'm a technician, <sighs> smartass. Firearms or chemical weapons. What's the difference? Same outcome. Look, I know that people have died. Your comrades. But you have to understand. Yes, I know you have nothing to do with it. And being on Regis, sure, you're just passing through. Bullshit. You will explain yourself to the Astro Gator himself. That's right. Obviously. It's really not necessary. But if you try anything, I'll do it. I'll shoot you. Yes, sir. I don't know what you're trying to do, but he sounds serious. There has to be a way. I don't know what will happen to me. Huh? What did you say? Quiet, Yasna. Don't take any chances with him. He's talking to me. I'll ask the questions, you just answer with a short yes or no. Is there anyone else? Apart from me? Uh-huh. So he's not alone. Are others close by? <sighs> Start, damn it. Uh-huh. Why can't I hear any other people? Nuh-uh. Hang on. There's no one else after all. Or maybe just... not people. When it rains, it pours, huh? Uh-huh. That's surprising. Do you have some alien there? Oh, of course not. Nuh-uh. Got it, of course not. 
That's why I'm betting on a humanoid robot. Uh-huh. The Electrobots have already been phased out. So it must be one of the Arctans. A model with a small head pressed into the body. One of those so-called porters. Theoretically harmless. But due to its tremendous strength and potential reprogramming, you best be careful around it. Come on. Uh, do you want to tell me something about this man? Something about his appearance, maybe? Uh-huh. Ah, does it concern his outfit? Uh-huh. Which part? Oh, you just had... Legs? Torso? Uh-huh. It's about his torso? Mm -mm. Must have misheard. Let's try again. Does it concern... Legs? Torso? Work already. Head. It's about his head? <sighs> what could be so unusual? Uh, I don't suppose you can see much since he has his helmet on? Uh -huh. Really? No helmet? Uh -huh. That's why I can hear him so clearly. It's, if he's been without it for a long time, with these levels of oxygen and methane, he must be a lunatic. It works. Let's go. Break time's over. I can hear something's happening. Keep it up. Straight ahead. Where are they taking you? Do you think? Where are you taking me? You came here yourself. So what are you expecting, huh? Don't risk it. Let it go. You set up a field base down there. So I didn't expect you to have a second one here. Yes, really? Oh, really? I'm listening. I have no idea what this place is, nor why or, or where you're leading me. Doctor, bite your tongue for once. Somehow I don't expect I'll meet your astrogator here. You're right. It's just me and my colleagues. Yes, sir, I'm listening. The signal is getting weaker. Wherever he's leading you, we won't be able to communicate. Uh -huh. Get in. Go, yes, sir. Stay calm. I, I, I don't want to. Go. Yes, sir. I'll do everything in my... Он ведет меня. А. Sit here. And don't you dare move. I have something for you. Oh, yes. thought the speleologists weren't exactly the funny types. Although, Spliskus the speleologist sounds pretty damn hilarious. Come on, you must be hungry. One for you. And one... for Spliskus. I'll pass for now. Wouldn't be able to swallow anything anyway. Spluskas, my friend. It's just me. Take it easy. You're safe. But you have to eat something. To have strength. Oh, gee. Don't do that. It's tasty. Eat. Come on. Eat. Did you like it? Very nice. 
ways. A few more. Unfortunately, I don't have any good news. I've searched the caves. I know Dr. Magdov went down there. If only you could tell me which cave she worked in. Maybe it would be easier then. If only you could. Sebulon has also gone missing without a trace. I don't even know where to look. And the whole convoy crew. I'll go there tomorrow. Maybe by then, with reinforcements. And it went smoothly. And he objected so much. Send a message. And you, mind your own business. Hello, Bridge. Rohitra speaking. <sighs> Rohitra. Can you hear me? Over. You're still not getting through. This is an urgent announcement. It's the 26th day of the mission. 1,300 hours, 42 minutes. I am reporting the presence of Commonwealth units on the surface of the planet. I have arrested one person. It's a woman, unarmed. I haven't noticed any other people or other units nearby, but this person was in active radio contact. I'm requesting backup, over and out. Hey, Milos, hope you're still in range. Listen, the Commonwealthers are here. I have one of them, uh, a woman. She was talking to someone on the radio, but I didn't see anyone around. I see what you're doing. Uh, I just wanted to sit more comfortably. Yeah, sure. Better get comfortable with discomfort. We'll sit around for a while. So, what now? Shall we keep quiet? while admiring the ceiling. So far, you're not very good at being quiet, let alone keeping it up. Well, I heard you broadcasting, Rahitra. You have no idea what to do with me, do you? <clears throat> I can gag you for a start. Uh, are you shielding yourself from the flies? Uh, from what? Flies. Y you named them that yourself. I mean, the Alliance did. Seems to me that the commanding staff will have a lot to talk to you about. Fortunately, I don't have to. You've been camping here long? Do you have air filters here? <sighs> did you know there's methane in the atmosphere? I know. These tanks are a temporary solution. Uh, wait. Condor? Condor what? You. Are you from Condor's crew? Yeah, so? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Here we can agree. You're talking complete nonsense. What do you mean? How come that's such a revelation? The Invincible was supposed to be here soon. Not Condor. Not now. Where did you get this information from? From intelligence. There you go. Will you finally admit what you were up to here? I'm from the Dragonfly. A small research unit. We're looking for planets with rich flora and fauna. That's the only reason we landed here. <laughs> no way. This planet is a complete corpse. According to estimations, it should be teeming with life. With its atmospheric composition and insulation, 
It should be a veritable paradise. We couldn't have predicted that. Fine, fine. If you don't want to tell me the whole truth, then don't. But do not lie. Intelligence is not interested in flowers and bees. Uh, do you smoke? I would if I hadn't run out. Here. Неплохо. about being scientists is true, but we were supposed to see what you were doing here. Or rather, what the Invincible will do here in several days. That makes no sense. The command center has no reason to send a second cruiser to this sector. And yet, they sent you. Hell no. We stopped here by accident, due to work on the main core. I don't understand anything anymore. Neither do I. But I know what's wrong with your comrades. The same thing happened to our people. How many of you were there? Six people. Only two of which are still unharmed. Including you. Me and our astrogator. Is he around here too? I'm the only one left on the surface. So, not many. I told you, we're a simple unit. Here's the rest. Gorski, a cyberneticist, a golden child. Serious beyond his years, yet full of youthful curiosity. He miraculously survived. I gave him my oxygen. Then the lander picked him up. Now I don't even know what state he's in. That doesn't sound like a miracle to me. Huh? What? You saved him, not some dumb luck. Marit, a geologist. Her mind's as sharp as a razor. She's tough on stupidity like no other. She's... She was... a dear friend of mine. Krauter, a chemist. Second in rank to Astrogator. What happened to his mind is tragic. Knowledge was everything to him. So, he lost... Everything? Yes. Koval, our physicist. He's unresponsive now. Always had a gentle nature to him, and a rather peculiar sense of humor. Show them to me. There were more of us. Much more. Milos left for Condor with the survivors. Those who were unable to... to do anything, really. I stayed to see if anyone else survived. So we wait. What a shame. When was the last time you had something to drink? The last time? I don't even remember. Thought so. It's water. <laughs> Local, but treated. Go ahead. Must be thirsty after everything you've been through. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, I needed that. <sighs> Me too. I've been silent for nearly two whole seconds. <laughs> Very funny. Do you really know what's wrong with them? I know what caused it. And how. This planet is inhabited by microbots that your scientists have called flies. Millions of microbots. A real cloud. What? A cloud of flies, which can literally erase the human mind, wash away all memories. That sounds... Can you prove it somehow? You'll find everything in my journal. The course of events. Pictures of the cloud. Should I throw it? No, that's enough throwing. We'll do as follows. I'll give that Astro Gator of yours a message, letting him know you're alive. Then, I'll read your journal, and in the meantime, you will get some rest. Been through a lot. Take my bedroll if you want. <sighs> I think I've rested long enough. You don't mind if I play with your probe? Well? Okay. 
Hey, okay, take it easy. Rahitra, are you sleeping? I'll take that as a yes. The antenna must be outside. The sedative. Does he serve it to them in the food? Or does he take it himself? Ну, он мог подмешать, наверное. Hey, you. How If anyone's joking around here, hang on. How do you know my name? For crying out loud, we met yesterday. You really don't remember. I... Is this some new trick of yours? Damn Commonwealthers. Go on, answer me. Uh, put that thing away. We both know the blaster doesn't work. You told me about it yourself. And about the man you killed with it. Fuck. I know that you're waiting for help from the Condor. Doing everything you can to take care of Spluskus and Lendor. I know what's wrong with them, and I'm guessing something similar might have happened to you. Can you somehow... Let me finish. You have my journal. Everything is in there. Are you talking about this? Yes. Read it. And I... I'll wait some more. So, have you read everything? I've read enough. Take it. Hey, hey, it's going to be fine. We'll make it. You're Dr. Yasna, right? Yasna is enough. Okay, Yasna, I have a favor to ask. Someone needs to go and find Milos. If that cloud really damaged my mind, then we don't know how much time has passed. In fact, I don't know anything anymore. And you? Won't you come with me? No. I can't. I won't leave them alone. Besides, there is a chance that Milos will come back after all. Yes. Maybe. There's a rover down below. You must use another exit. A hidden one, so to speak. It's over here, behind me. Go ahead. I know it looks for good luck, Doc. That was... He was... I don't know. I gotta tell Navik everything. Whoa, that is one big pile. Откуда у него их столько? Но он выжил, я правда не знаю, что с ним будет дальше, потому что он явно тупеет с каждой секундой, но... Явно я мог его не уговорить, если бы у меня не было достаточно инфы. Мне кажется, по крайней мере, потому что, типа, зачем-то же нужны все эти выборы. short of reassuring me. Of those reinforcements he spoke of arrived. I tried to intercept their response to no avail. No. On the contrary. I am supposed to follow them. There's something off with those people, Astrogator. I mean, more than I expected. Are you talking about reinforcements, or have you met anyone else? There were two more men with him. Completely wiped out. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Rahitra, on the other hand. Yes, Doctor? A madman. And that's that. I see. Oh, I haven't told you the most important thing. Condor's here. Condor? Yes. HQ messed everything up. It was Condor that was flying to Regis 3. Not the Invincible. And that was some time ago. I'm following. 
find the transport that was headed there. We need to get to the bottom of this insane story. I'm counting on it, Astrogator. Idea. Rahitra didn't tell me anything about it. Ah, it started to talk to us about the sending his transmission. Basically, I'm not there anymore. I sent someone for you. She's a member of the Commonwealth, and she's... All right, I suppose we can trust her. Probably even more than I can trust myself, but never mind. I'd just like to believe she'll find you alive. Over and out. Yes, sir. Uh, Given the circumstances, I wouldn't count on... I know. But I promise to do it, so I will. Besides, he'll only leave when he's certain that reinforcements won't arrive. And I don't want to be stuck in that cave with him forever. Прикинь, какая жесть, кстати. То есть вот он сидит в пещере. И тупеет медленно. Ну, потому что там метан. Мушки. В какой-то момент он не сможет понять, что типа он вообще существует. Он войдет вот в это же состояние, как и другие члены вот нашего экипажа. И просто умрет. И даже не поймет этого. Что ты застреваешь-то во всех этих трубах? Ты 
time seems to be slipping through my fingers like sand. So much sand. You sound tired, Yasna. Because I am tired, Astrogator. There's a problem. I'm listening. The route they took is blocked by a force field. There must be an Energobot somewhere. But I don't know if I can get to it. Maybe you can go around the field. I'll check. Although... It's pretty narrow here. The route is blocked all the way across. Boulders are blocking the way. So even if I turn the force field off, we still can't proceed. Even if I find a way, I'll have to continue without the rover. Uh, wouldn't make much sense. Please keep looking. А что не доехать? Но вменяемое расстояние какое-нибудь. Transporter. They're here. Is standing still in front of the force field. Is that Milos convoy? I'll confirm soon, but yes, most likely. More than one. Two. And they're all in the transporter? Ready yourself for the worst, Doctor. I am ready. I'm going in. Well, actually, I'm squeezing in. Still, no one here. Ah, they must be in the back. Moment of truth. Почему она постоянно говорит кто-то? Это может быть и зонд, это может быть просто рюкзак. Как будто до этого я постоянно именно трупы находил, ну или в принципе людей по этим меткам. Я же говорю, он просто показывает, типа... Сигналы, которые подсоединены к ним, причем я даже пройти туда не могу. Not exactly. The inner door is still locked, and the outer door is just shut. I repeat, now all doors have... Wait! The back door opened. Oh. No. What? This vehicle. It's a coffin, sir. A mass grave. They were all crammed in here. In the heat and darkness. With no chance of understanding what's going on. I'm sorry you have to see that. The number of registers, 428. Playing in broadcast mode. You found more of those? No. It started automatically. Hello, Condor. This is Rosa Trinity. It's day 26, time... 805. Those were the longest few steps I've walked in my entire life. Have you noticed anything? Astrogator, please spare me. They're all dead. And they died in such a gruesome way. I'm not talking about that. The recordings. It's playing over and over, I know. It's jammed. The thing is, it's not the same recording. He says the same thing over and over again. The same dates, times, but they're different recordings. Oh shit. That he has memory loss, we already know. What strikes me, however, is the scale of it. Yes, indeed. If all these recordings have the same content... He's been here for far too long. Far too long not to receive help from Condor. Damn. You're right, Doctor. Nobody will come. 
I'm afraid there's not a soul here on this damned planet, except for the three in the cave. Yes, ma'am. I have a request. I'm listening. Let's skip listening to the rest of the recordings. Can you stop them? No way. I'm not going back there. Well, let's change the channel, then. One notch up. That I can do. All right. Talk to you in a second. Ah. Much better. Agreed. Astrogator, Rahitra is firing off flares. He doesn't realize yet that no one else can see them. Except me. If I don't snap him out of this damn loop, he'll keep doing it until he dies. Or goes insane. Yes, I understand the tragedy of this man. You want to save him. You want to save one more life. Three. Three more lives. Туда. Я ни хрена не вижу здесь. I found a direct route. I'll be in the hill soon. Traversing this planet, I'm becoming more and more convinced that what I know is not the same as what exists. What can exist? I must admit, it's an interesting thought, but quite disturbing. И пьем она в очень странных местах останавливается почему-то. Мне нравится, что здесь три, о мое. Здесь трое этих, и я не совсем понимаю, чем вот эти вот владеют опасным для меня, потому что вот эти-то понятно еще. помнит меня me so quickly where are they tell me what's going on calm down I'll tell you everything maybe you should sit come on talk to me I don't want to sit down the cloud got to them not far from here we have to get them out of there Help them. Rehitra, you wanted me to speak. So hear me out. It happened a very long time ago. They're all dead. Nobody came for them. I don't think there's anyone alive there anymore. On Condor or anywhere else. What are you talking about? Every night, you forget about the events that happened after the clouds attack. I may be forgetting things. You've already proven that to me, but I, I can't have forgotten that much. You've been in this condition for a very long time. How, how long? How long have I been like this? 428 days. At least that's how many times you've broadcast your morning message to Milos. What the fuck? No, that's impossible. Uh, I'm sorry to bring such news, Doctor. but I want to help. You don't have to wait any longer. Hey, to interrupt, but we have a problem. The 
Right now? Yes. It's closing in on you. Hurry up. Copy that. Is that one of yours? What does he want? It's our astrogator. He's warning us of the approaching cloud. Quick, get us to the hideout. Now, move! Can it get through the force field? Hey, hey! What are you trying to do? I'm done waiting. There's no need to anymore. There's no one left to look for. All that's left is revenge. Astrogator, I think he wants to fight. What the fuck? Can't you stop him somehow? He'll cause trouble for both of you. I don't think so. He's already opened the field. I see you. И мы сидим здесь с уродами, которые активируются от... Эй, Что это? Uh, uh... So. So. Here, then you can take the shot. The device is connected to three combat machines. Okay. It sounds simple. Check, check. Hey, over. Let's Copy that. It's getting closer. I don't see it. Soon as be within range of the gun. Coming to the не работает
Case Yasna, it's not just empty boasting. Sending the Cyclops somewhere is. is like giving the task to the devil himself. Look, I'm giving you a simple choice, Yasna. Are you going or not? Go where there could be water, medicine, resources, or stay here to die. Wow, such a hard choice. I hope I won't regret it. Too bad you didn't mention earlier that you had a working saucer. We could fly to Kondo right away, or even into orbit. Working is a big word. It's just a tin can with a couple of sputtering engines. Controlling it technically doesn't work. Y you could have mentioned that earlier, too. Open up. I'm getting off. Are you serious? Look around. You really don't have a choice. Just a minute. I'm waiting for the force field to shut down. It should be soon. I wasn't responding. Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. If he expected me to wait here, he's sorely mistaken. Wow. It's impressive. The Congo? Yes. Uh, it looked majestic in the pictures. In real life, too. I think I know where a hitcher is. It's to be expected that we'll lose communications as soon as you enter the cargo bay. Sure thing. So many tons of steel. Indeed. You'll have to establish a connection. Ah. So that's their marvel of military technology. A hitcher wastes no time. Is it attacking already? For now, he's only released the Cyclops. As they call it. The hell is he thinking? <laughs> it's floating majestically, three meters above the ground. Ah, what does it look like? I must admit that I haven't seen any pictures of the Cyclops. The Alliance tried to keep its existence a secret. It's big. Bigger than a transporter. It's launch, but for some reason, it gives off such an unsettling impression. Does it make any sounds? Uh, no. It's big and quiet. Uh, well... Without spirit. Without glory. Glory? I'm thinking out loud. This cruiser of theirs seems so powerful. Worthy of the mightiest space conquerors. Yet on this planet, all that awaited its crew was death. Not glory. If only we could get hold of its blueprints. This is hardly the time, Astrogator. There's one more thing, Yasta. This is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while, but so far everything indicates... What is it, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's actually flying here. If I'm reading the message correctly, I'll be here in a few days. I'm looking for the missing Condor. 
and they have no idea of the danger. Everything makes sense now. They were coming to rescue their people from the very beginning, not to gain some imaginary advantage over us. One doesn't exclude the other, but yes. Turns out it's mostly about the Condor. I'm entering the cargo hold. Wish me luck, Astrogator. Good luck, Yasna. С самого верха едет. А, по лестнице? Чё? Объявление от лица командования. Важно. Утеряны часы и марки Дельбана с аферблатом в виде морской звезды. Фамильная реликвия, отремонтированная отцом-часовщиком, принадлежат сыну астрофизику. Феномен замедления времени в космосе не уменьшает сентиментальные ценности предмета, а также, согласно последним исследованиям, не позволяет отправиться в прошлое до момента утери. Нашедшего убедительная просьба вернуть. Ярко, астрофизик, вторая палуба. Here. 
Медицинская заметка. Состояние пациента на момент поступления. Функция органов в норме. Температура тела в норме. СРБ в норме. Наблюдается тревожное расстройство. Одышка, учащенное сердцебиение, понижен уровень бинуфлорокса и расстройство сна. Опрос. Последние годы пациент глубоко изучал э, инверсию в астрофизических явлениях. Три недели и два дня назад он сформулировал теорию белой дыры, противоположности черной дыры. Согласно пациенту, белая дыра выталкивает материю, поглощенную черной дырой. Когда белая дыра и черная дыра достаточно заближаются, между ними может образоваться туннель. А диагноз невроз, вызванный постоянным напряжением и чрезмерно умственной активностью в вечерние ночные часы, а также общее утомление организма. В заключение пациент не обозначил, как именно материя, ранее поглощенная черной дырой, предположительно находящаяся в другом измерении, выталкивается белой дырой, однако данный факт вызывает у него сильную тревожную реакцию. Но он также не уточнил, почему вышеописанный туннель угрожает его ощущению безопасности, однако в его речи и рисунках прослеживается четкая связь между гипотезой и неврозом. Рекомендации: немедленное прекращение исследований, постоянное медицинское наблюдение, антистрофизм стрессовая терапия, в случае отсутствия улучшения, искусственный сон продолжительностью один месяц. Защита от мушек, электрический камуфляж... Стертый мозг показывает значительное снижение электрической активности. Судя по всему, мушки больше не проявляют интерес к пострадавшим. Вывод необходимо замаскировать активность здорового мозга. Шапка невидимка, металлическая сетка для волос. Излучение слабых электрических импульсов для имитации стертого мозга. Не на ком проводить испытания. Без испытаний это не более чем прототип. Факт, база. Как может прийти в голову? Типа, ну даже если тебе нечего есть. Но ведь... Явно не стоит есть то, что тебе сделает только хуже. Ученые типа здесь были. А, ну хотя электромагия. Ладно, вопрос закрыт на самом деле. Не всегда появляются просто в нужный момент эти триггеры предмет вот как сейчас вот я не сразу увидел профессор азима на 24 день миссии пациент был найден за пределами базы симптомы спутанность сознания пролич немота отсутствие реакции на внешние раздражители причина неизвестна пробуждение запланировано на 46 день миссии временное изучение 22 дня Повторная заявка на разрешение работы над личными проектами. Повторно прошу разрешить мне разработку устройств для чтения, предварительно названных Optan и Lecton. Желаю спорить заявление старших инженеров о том, что мои идеи — это эфемерные фантазии, лишенные какого-либо практического потенциала. Для подкрепления концепта я создал первый прототип Optan. Хотел бы еще раз обозначить принципы моей разработки. Я глубоко убежден, что смелое видение писателя-фантаста под псевдонимом Лем может стать реальностью. Необъятные космические знания больше не будут храниться на материале естественного происхождения. Книги примут форму кристаллов, и содержимое будет записано в них. Прочесть кристаллы можно будет с помощью Оптона. По моей задумке, внешне он будет похож на книгу с одной страницей между обложками. Каждое прикосновение будет перелистывать страницу текста. Преимущество Оптона — точное воспроизведение процесса чтения при невероятной экономии места в библиотеках, что позволит значительно расширить наши возможности накопления знаний и обеспечить преимущество на межпланетной арене. Примечание. Помещаю на Оптоне копию истории в честь непобедимого с целью демонстрации. Второй проверенный мной концепт. Это своего рода устройство для чтения с функцией воспроизведения звука. Он может получить популярность у пилотов, вынужденных проводить много времени в межпланетных перелетах, но желающих расширить собственные горизонты посредством литературы. Таким образом, я не исключаю презентации рассказов в звуковом формате. В заключение. Надеюсь на ваше положительное решение и прошу назначить дату презентации сразу по прибытии с регистрии, дабы я мог незамедлительно продолжить работу над оптонами и электронами. 
Да, так, тут ни хрена больше нет. Ладно, это комната отсылка, я понял. Черепной интернейронный стимулятор в широких массах известен как замогильный фонандоскоп. Назначение. Фиксация последних сознательных воспоминаний умершего мозга. Метод. Отправка электрических импульсов через нервные волокна, которые объединяла функциональная целостность в предагональный период. Процедура использования. Очистите кожу на лбу погибшего, прикрепите 6 плоских электродов в местах, указанных на схеме, установите настройки аппарата согласно приведенным значениям и активируйте аппарат. Нажав кнопку «Пуск», наденьте наушники, прилагаемые к аппарату, наблюдайте последние воспоминания мозга умершего. Внимание. Данное руководство применяется только в случае недавней смерти или ранней стадии разложения. Результаты исследования ненадежные могут быть неэтичным. По какой-то причине пуш тут ток больше не был нужен. Here, why don't you help me? With what? With the probes. They're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. Are you helping or not? Come on, Yasna. It's about to start. I can't wait any longer. Uh, all right. Have it your way. Okay, I'm ready. What am I looking at? It'll be uh, number five, a long range one. It sees the entire perimeter. Better switch to a closer one. There's the Cyclops. Great. Force field activation. I confirm. Field active. The clouds within reach. I'm shooting. The close range is dead. No wonder. It's boiling over there. The field is shrinking. Calm down, Yasna. It will hold. Whoa! Oh, beautiful. It's not a machine, it's the devil himself. I'm telling you. Losing connection. Do you see anything? They're creating a tight formation. A cyclone. Fucking shit! That can't be good, right? You tell me. Can't you see anything? Probes, yes. What are they showing? The mid-range is dead. How about the long range? Uh, the long range works. The cloud has stopped attacking. The Cyclops is... Huh? What is it doing? What did you see? Yasna! The cloud... one. What? You said... 
Don't count on the Cyclops anymore. The circuits must have gone haywire. It shot down the probes. Now it's probably operating with a new goal. Like all those machines earlier. I, d I don't understand. How? This is pure madness. Hey, at least we still have the Invincible. Don't mock me. I'm not mocking you, Rahitra. They really are flying here. They'll be here in about... Just hold on for a moment. I'll find out. All hope lies with the Invincible. I see. The Cyclops failed. I had a feeling it would end like this. Do you know what Rahitra is planning now? I have no idea. Well, then I need to talk to him. You, sir? Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Done. Please talk. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all this? Rohitra, engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces, to prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree, officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn actively. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The Cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, it disrupted our communications. <laughs> playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the Cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. You still have an answer, New Hitra. Please, just tell me straight. What are you up to? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives? Cluster munitions? Hydrogen. What? Rahitra? Are you serious? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's quite an arsenal. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. An amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen there. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. You're like me. You would do anything for your crew. understand how you feel, but you can't approach this problem in terms of revenge. 
We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking the ship? Exactly. Like Xerxes. We won't gain anything from a mindless attack. On the other hand, knowledge about these creations may turn out to be crucial in helping their victims. In helping you, Rahitra. My memory, you could... It's possible. Well, thank you. What for? I haven't done anything. <laughs> for reminding me of my mom. But as long as the cloud is a threat to others, my condition comes second. You, Rahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget Rahitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? They're not stupid or hostile, but rather programmed to react to radio waves, to brain waves. How? They're breaking down communications to thwart the exchange of information. So, uh, they see no difference between a man and a machine? They take our brains for transmitters. That's why they're attacking us? Exactly. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasin found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Oh, they certainly competed with the local fauna. We've seen fish that evolved to sense electromagnetic fields. And underground, I found fossils of lizard-like reptiles. Some of them must have been predatory. Well, I find it hard to believe that any prehistoric reptiles would possess our level of technology, not to mention an arsenal. Well, they wouldn't have, but there were other machines here as well. Other machines? I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for this. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Our cyberneticist had a hypothesis before he lost consciousness. About the Lyrans. Yes, that one. Lyrans. Lyrans. It does ring a bell. Wasn't there a book about them? The Cravens monograph. According to his notes, before the explosion of Zeta Lyra, the sixth planet of the system was inhabited by intelligent beings. Let's say their scout ship landed here under a disaster. Some kind of reactor explosion, chain reaction. Suffice to say, the wreckage that landed on Regis 3 had no living beings on board. <sighs> Only the machine survived. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't argue. First things first. Millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis 3. And these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms, left with no one to command them. As an engineer, you know well how it is. A robot does what it needs to do, whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves or built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already defeated the living organisms, why keep producing themselves? It makes no sense. What is the guiding principle of a homeostat? To survive. Apparently, the machines pose a threat to one another. They use the same source of energy to function. A common, finite resource. Okay, but why did some flies survive this? Not something bigger, better? The way I see it, they were better. The best. In necro-evolution, the bots that used up the fewest resources won. So they miniaturized, or became sedentary. 
The former process gave rise to the cloud. The latter started this bizarre genre of, of metal structures resembling vegetation, which formed the city. And they're still growing? No. They lost the fight for survival, and now they're just rusting remnants. Only one form survived. The flying microbots that conquered all land areas on Regis Three. So these flies were just the best adapted? To the conditions of this planet? Yes, that's how it works. So, to summarize, some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis Three. Local dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them, so the robots produced other robots, which produced more and more robots, until they fell victim to their own overproduction. After a number of iterations and wars for resources, they spat out the murderous cloud, which took over the planet. Indeed. To put it simply... For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I would even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? But that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well... Yeah. I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Ritra. Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water, or food. Only solar energy. Uh, but what else can we do if not attack? The Invincible is near. We can wait for its arrival. Huh, right. That is one solution. Although I was hoping you'd come back to Dragonfly. Back home. Huh. Done. Warheads are armed. One more press of a button. There'll be no turning back. I can't. Ah. Uh, that was close. I'm suspending all actions leading to conflict. But what should I do now? Well, we have a lander. So you can get to the Dragonfly. All of us? I'm going back. And you, Rahitra? Are you flying with us? You actually mean it? Damn. Thank you. But I can't leave just before my people arrive. I have to tell them about the cloud, necroevolution, this whole mess. But you... I can handle it, Yasna. I'll take the stimulants and hold out until they arrive. Whatever it takes to stay awake. Maybe I can write it all down. Wouldn't it be better if you took my diary? It contains everything I've learned. Huh. As long as your commander doesn't mind. Please take it, Comrade Rehitra. There are no more factions on this forsaken planet. We're all just people here. Ну, вот я говорю, скрипты, ну, скрипты. Я могу ему как-то дать, но я, но я не могу. О. Thank you for this and for everything else. I've prepared Hopper for departure, but there's still a matter of access to the landing pad on the back. Novik, how do you know about our landing pad? Well, you know what they say. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Astrogator likes big ships. <laughs> right. Anyway, someone has to break the force field and open the dome. The field automatically deactivates when the dome is opened. It's the same switch on the control station. All right. Sounds simple enough. Okay, got it. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Good luck, Rahitra. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. Have a safe flight, Astrogator. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. 
we've reconnected. Great. Hopper is just landing. Wow, already? It went smoothly. The landing pad is generous in proportion. <sighs> like everything here. Are you ready? I'll just close the hatch and... And what? There's nothing. I'm gonna buckle up now. Ready. Copy that. Hopper is taking off in three, two, one. Типа там итоги. <смех> Что это такое? Подожди, он должен дать какой-то результат, иначе какой смысл во всем этом. Типа, ну вы просто улетели. <смех> И ничего. Ну то есть здесь какие еще варианты? Можно взорвать все нахрен. Можно остаться ждать Invincible. Можно улететь и забрать мушек. Мне интересно, где сейф. Потому что если сейф в удобном месте, то сейчас будем сидеть и перенажимать варианты в диалоге. Я боюсь пропускать. Мне кажется, если я пропущу, то итогов не будет. Если они вообще есть, потому что если их нет, то это странно. Улетело все. <смех> Больше ясно никто не видел. Каст. Сейчас пока что это вообще ни на что ничего не влияет. Если она просто улетает и запускаются титры, то это как минимум... Ну, это как минимум тупо. Да и хотя бы, я не знаю, слайд-шоу из итогов. Что произошло-то? Так. Не смей давать мне главное меню игры. Это, это разочарует на, на 100%. Он просто дал меню игры! Алло? Я понял, пошли тыкать в диалоги. Не, ну мушки с собой понятно, к чему. Проблема в том, что... Ага, проблема в том, что с самого-самого начала это делается. Ну, ну давай разорвем. Блин, что за тупой конец, боже, так было все хорошо же. Она улетела. Можно концовка с непобедимым будет интереснее. Это можно скипать, это нельзя скипать. Но это же такой тупизм. Но если все концовки такие, но это же такой тупизм. Сейчас они поговорят еще раз. Какая ранняя версия от релиз? Это 
А, ну мне кажется, взорвать будет максимально быстро. Я просто скажу ему, да, жми. Жми кнопку, бро. Давай. Какого экшена? Можно я получу историю, которая типа закончена? Типа концовка, где не надо додумывать, где нет как бы каких-то... Вот этих вот мы решили не дописывать сценарий, ну, например. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no mem. What? A nuclear weapon? Seriously? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? Fifty-four. From thirty kilos to one hundred megatons. Oh, that's quite enough. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. That amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. Отлично, чат, ни разу не расизм вообще. Да давай стреляй за колебал. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen there. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. You like me. You would do anything for your crew. Not only do I understand you, I feel the same desire. Revenge is out of the question. Why? We are dealing with creations of necro evolution, dead evolution, and probably non sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like whipping the ocean for sinking a ship. Exactly, like Xerxes. While we express our suffering, rage, and frustration, we won't accomplish much. We won't harm it. We won't instill fear in it. We won't make it surrender. I'm going to destroy it, Nasna. Not scare it, not hurt it. Exterminate every last piece of it. You and Hitler are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget for Hitler. Yes. Please remember what we've learned. Before the machines came to read us three, this planet was teeming with life. Before the cloud wiped out all its competition. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasna found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Both living organisms and mechanical creators of the cloud, as well as other products of dead evolution. The list is quite long. Hang on. Creators? Yes. Oi. Millions of years ago, someone must have built primordial mechanisms. Machines could have self-built in successive generations. But something must have created them first. I don't buy it. 
It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for this. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? A cyberneticist had a hypothesis before he lost consciousness. About the Lyrans. Yes, that one. Lyrans. Lyrans. It does ring a bell. Wasn't there a book about them? The Kraven's monograph. According to his notes, before the explosion of Zeta Lyra, the sixth planet of the system was inhabited by intelligent beings. Let's say their scout ship landed here and that a disaster occurred. Some kind of reactor explosion, chain reaction. Suffice to say, the wreckage that landed on Regis 3 had no living beings on board. Only the machine survived. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't... argue. I'm sorry, but I don't know if there's any point in discussing this further. In short, we are facing an entity that has triumphed over countless adversaries, both organic and mechanical ones. I see no point in prolonging this discussion. For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir, do you agree? Well... Actually, I don't. I think we should proceed with the attack. Even after everything you've learned, Doctor? After everything you've been through? Because of it, we have to destroy the cloud. Well, I still have significant concerns. You're the one there, not me. Maybe I'm not seeing the whole picture. Well, indeed, no. I knew yes, I would understand. Now, give me a minute. I'm almost done. Bye. See these switches? The ones on the launch control unit? Yeah, I see. Do I use them to launch the rockets? Not yet. We use a button for that. The red one. your eyes. What? Is this a joke? No one and nothing can... It's unbelievable. They're really just invincible. Another fiasco? This is not happening. It can't be real. Hey. Rehitra, they're flying this way. We have to flee. But where to? Into orbit. Do you have a landing pad in there? At the bow. All you gotta do is open the dome. Okay, go get the others. I'll take care of this. Uh. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Head upstairs, Doctor. What about the others? You'll wait for them in the lander. Make it in time. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. We've reconnected. Great. Hopper is just landing. Uh, just a few more steps. Jasna, you have to. No. I know what you're going to say. Just one more minute.
Но они не поднимутся. Причем тут она даже не думает брать с собой банку, не брать с собой банку, такая я полетела. И просто титры, да? М -м -м, концовки кринжа. Кнопка F не работает. Почему-то работает. Дэм. This is Yasna. I managed to get to the Condor's bridge, where Hitra and I led the attack on the cloud. But the Cyclops... Failed? Worse. The Cyclops got out of control and knocked down the probes. I had a feeling it would end like this. Do you know what we're Hitra is planning now? I have no idea. But then I need to talk to him. You, sir? Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Окей, окей. Я перевожу тебя к бриджу. Я тут даже додумывать ничего не надо, тут просто концовок нет. Done. Please talk. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor cruiser. Please come in. Could you stop with all this, Rohitra? Engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. <laughs> Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces to prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree, officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn actively. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. As a counterattack, though, it disrupted our communications. That's why we need to change tactics. Hmm. To be honest, I don't see how changing tactics in this situation would make any difference. I strongly disagree, Nami. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity. Technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no mem What? A nuclear weapon? Seriously? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's quite an awesome. Over the top, I'd say. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. An amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads. To start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna. I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen there. Where will I wake up? 
in what condition. So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. You're like me. You would do anything for your crew. Look, I understand how you feel. But you can't approach this problem in terms of revenge. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking the ship? Exactly. Like Xerxes. We won't gain anything from a mindless attack. On the other hand, knowledge about these creations may turn out to be crucial in helping their victims. In helping you, Rahitra. My memory, you could... It's possible. Well, thank you. What for? I haven't done anything. <laughs> for reminding me of my mom. But as long as the cloud is a threat to others, my condition comes second. You, Rahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? <laughs> oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget Rahitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. They're not stupid or hostile, but rather programmed to react to radio waves, to brain waves. How? They're breaking down communications to thwart the exchange of information. So, they see no difference between a man and a machine? They take our brains for transmitters. That's why they're attacking us? Exactly. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasin found various traces of conflict, lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. Oh, they certainly competed with the local fauna. We've seen fish that evolved to sense electromagnetic fields. And underground, I found fossils of lizard-like reptiles. Some of them must have been predatory. Oh, I find it hard to believe that any prehistoric reptiles would possess our level of technology, not to mention an arsenal. Well, they wouldn't have, but there were other machines here as well. Other machines? I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for this. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Our cyberneticist had a hypothesis before we lost consciousness. About the Lyrans. Yes, that one. Lyrans. Lyrans. It does ring a bell. Wasn't there a book about them? The Cranian's monograph. According to his notes, before the explosion of Zeta Lyran, the sixth planet of the system was inhabited by intelligent beings. Let's say their scout ship landed here and that a disaster occurred. Some kind of reactor explosion, chain reaction. Suffice to say, the wreckage that landed on Regis 3 had no living beings on board. <sighs> Only the machine survived. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotion. They don't argue. First things first, millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis III, and these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms, left with no one to command them. As an engineer, you know well how it is. A robot does what it needs to do, whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves, or built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already defeated the living organisms, why keep producing themselves? What is the guiding principle of a homeostat? To survive. Apparently the machines pose a threat to one another. They use the same source of energy to function. 
A common, finite resource. Okay, but why did some flies survive this? Not something bigger and better. The way I see it, they were better. The best. In Necro Evolution, the bots that used up the fewest resources won. So they miniaturized, or became sedentary. The former process gave rise to the cloud. The latter started this bizarre genre of, of metal structures resembling vegetation, which formed the city. And they're still growing? No. They lost the fight for survival, and now they're just rusting remnants. Only one form survived. The flying microbots that conquered all land areas on Regis Three. So these flies were just the best adapted? To the conditions of this planet? Yes, that's how it works. So, to summarize, some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis Three. The local dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them, so the robots produced other robots, which produced more and more robots, until they fell victim to their own overproduction. After a number of iterations and wars for resources, they spat out the murderous cloud, which took over the planet. Indeed. To put it simply... For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I'll even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well? Yeah. I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Ritra. Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water or food, only solar energy. <sighs> but what else can we do if not attack? The Invincible is near. We can wait for its arrival. Huh, right. That is one solution. Although I was hoping you'd come back to Dragonfly. Back home. Huh. I'm done. More heads are armed. One more press of a button. There'll be no turning back. I can't. Ah, that was close. I'm suspending all actions leading to conflict. But what should I do now? Well, we have a lander. I'm staying. What? What? I'm staying here. We'll wait for the Invincible together. Yes, sir. Are you sure? Someone has to warn them, Astrogator. And Rahitra is... well... Don't sugarcoat it, Yasna. I think we're all aware of my condition. Yes, the doctor reported it. Because of this and many other reasons, I feel I must stay. Uh, well... I need to check on the guys. It was good talking, Astrogator. See you in a minute, Yasna. Yeah. Take care. So, he's gone. Doctor. Yes, no. It was truly an honor. <laughs> I'm having a hard time finding the right words. I have one last request. I'm listening. I'd like Kovel, Krauter, and Gorski to remember me, even just from your stories. Of course. I'll let everyone know what you did for them. No, no. I, I don't care about gratitude. I just want them to know who I was. I am. All right. I will try to do justice in capturing your extraordinary character. Although I must admit, it's not an easy assignment. As always, I'm not making anything easier for you, Novik. <laughs> As always, yes, sir. Have a safe journey. Thank you, and... Uh, take care. Over and out. Really tired. That's what I meant to say. Because you're trying to be polite. The undeniable truth is, I look 
and feel like shit. Uh, will you close it for me? Of course. Support and stimulants will help you. I won't sleep. I can't. You know that. I have to endure somehow. It, it won't get to that. Because I'll tell you everything all over again. No, Yasna. I know me all too well. I won't believe the cloud can't be defeated. Or help you convince the Invincibles crew you're innocent. You'll end up in custody, and they'll just repeat our mistakes. That's a strange feeling. Remaining conscious in the hibernator. You clearly haven't visited the infirmary often. This is a standard procedure for a long recovery. Will you take another look at Landor and Spluskas? I'm doing it now. Don't worry. Thanks. But if you're still wondering whether to go to the nest, this is probably your last chance. If you want to make it before the Invincible arrives, it would be good to have you here when they come. The journey there and back will take you about 12 hours. I've been thinking about it for a while, and it's something I just have to do. I might be the only person who can make contact to... to understand. I know. But you will come back, won't you? I intend to. Спасибо хотя бы за эту концовку. Типа это было пох... не знаю, похоже это было на финал или нет. Типа я думаю нет никакого смысла проверять, потому что если я скажу, что типа нет, я туда не пойду, то она такая, ну титра запускается уже что-то нахер вам что-то надо. Блин, не знаю. Мне все понравилось, но есть проблема. Эта игра на 100% держится на сюжете и на нарративе. И концовка нахер его, ну как бы, ну я не знаю, это не концовки, и чё, да, типа, и чё, и чё дальше -то? Типа, для игры своего жанра это сделано хорошо. Оно стильное, оно в целом интересное. То есть мне как бы от начала до конца было, ну, интересно следить за всем. Всегда есть какие-то диалоги, какой-то движ, ты особо 
не залипаешь ни на что. Концовки, конечно. Ну, прям кринжа. То есть это не открытый финал даже, это просто отсутствие концовки, как таковой. Это, блин, не Alan Wake 2, это, это ничего, это не заделано продолжение, это не заделано подумать, это просто тупо, типа, ну, окей, хорошо, примитивное додумывание, когда она просто улетает, но она просто улетает, эти там, наверное, дожидаются Invincible, и я не знаю, я, я, и, я не знаю, ну, то есть там, там как бы могут произойти разные вещи, какие конкретно вещи там произойдут, мы не знаем. Арт офигенный вообще. Арт классный, ну, геймплея в игре нет, но я его типа и не ожидал. Просто, опять же, игра, которая на 100% построена вокруг сюжета, и вот в ней вот такая вот концовка, это, конечно, грустно, печально. Антон с переподпиской на восьмой месяц. Концовочки бы, конечно, что-нибудь бы с ними сделать. Ну, ну. У нее идеальная длина. Есть интересные игровые ситуации, хотя они не игровые, но неважно. Ну, как бы, ты что-то ходишь, бродишь, ну, то есть, мне нравится в целом. Потому что у нас, например, типа, было несколько проектов в этом году подобного же рода, но они особо не запомнились. Последствия, да, то есть, например, я думал, вот мы делали на протяжении всей игры э, какие-то решения. Там, вначале я мог увести не всю команду, как я это сделал. Там кислород я мог дать, не дать. То есть в итоге это какие-то действия, которые привели ни к чему. По факту, по факту, не надо делать так, чтобы это к чему-то привело. Но можно же было сделать так, чтобы, короче, ну, например, слайд-шоу хотя бы показали, я не знаю. То есть типа вы там сделали вот такое-то последовательность действий, это привело к таким результатам. В итоге... Если сравнивать с NF в 2023 году Ford Solid с Deliver Mars, что больше нравится? Э, ну, точно не Ford Solid. Типа, это на самом деле тоже игра, которая очень неплохо вписалась бы в концепцию... Э, господи, Любовь, Смерть, Роботы. Но здесь как будто есть осознанность, и здесь тебя не просто игра пытается растянуть, типа, чтобы ты ходил очень долго между сюжетом что Форд Солис это так работает. Форд Солис сюжет на полтора часа, но ты ходишь в игре. Марс я особо не помню. Он был, по-моему, туп сюжетом немного. И немного перетянут. Ну, типа Инвинсабл, он самый концептуально интересный. Причем я думал реально, что если типа просто все бомбами взорвать, то как бы там будет красивый взрыв, и, и как бы окей, игра сразу бы закончилась, это было бы хотя бы логично. Нет, оно взрывается, в итоге и на них это никак не влияет, она все равно садится, улетает. То, что в концовке, когда она эвакуируется, там просто происходит типа мем, она такая банка, выкину, а, или не выкину, ну типа не имеет значения, что ты выберешь, у тебя просто игра закончится в эту секунду, какая разница. Это даже не 2-3 варианта, которые ни о чем не говорят. Это даже особо не варианты, на самом деле. Короче, не знаю, тупо получилось максимально. Вот именно концовка, конечно, подрастроила. Вся остальная игра в целом была классная. Короче, заканчиваем на этом прохождение. Вот. Ну, как в Робокопе хотя бы, да, кстати. Вот в Робокопе есть концовки, есть концовки. Они особо на что-то сильно влияют в плане различия? Да нет, наверное, но как минимум они были закончены, как минимум они были... Э -э ну, было чувство финала, здесь чувство финала не появилось. А увидимся с вами где-нибудь через недельку, когда, э -э возможно, проведется колесо. Я отдыхать на неделю так примерно. А если вы еще не поставили лайк под стрим, надо обязательно это сделать. Подписаться на канал. Подписаться на телеграм. Там всегда все появляется раньше всех. Там ничего не пропустите. Спасибо, что были. Хорошего вечера. Спокойной ночи.